in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message if you're new to this channel I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Hear me. There are people here. Everything works for others until it gets to your tongue. The moment it gets to your tongue, mysteriously, you don't seem to be able to step into certain blessings. I stretch my hands. Let a mantle from heaven rest upon your life now. Help that man, please. Rest upon your life now. Help that man, my God. Help this woman. The power of God is coming on you, madam. You will never be the same again. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Now, the, the Lord is ministering to me to break the chains of untimely death. There are many families here. There is a track record burying loved ones before their time. Older parents burying the young ones. I don't know who is standing here and there is an altar of death against your life. But in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, that devil must let you go. I don't care how many years, for the Bible says, blotting out every handwriting, an ordinance that spoke against us. Therefore, at the count of three, let the spirit of death leave you. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Release your destinies now. Help them, please. Release your destinies now. Untimely death over Taraba State. We command be banished in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, please hear me. I want to say something that I do not want you to find offensive. There is a spirit around the middle belt that stems right up to these regions that does not allow anything that is started well to last beyond one or two generations you will find a responsible and successful father but there is no responsible son we almost don't have third or fourth generation anything because it looks like there is a spirit that aborts sustainability of impact i want to rebuke that spirit right now in the name of jesus for every parent here every captain of industry here you will not labor for nothing in the name of jesus if there is any family here help them that has a child male or female that is giving the problem the parents problems they are prayed and fasted and counseled some of them were sent abroad and they returned back in a way that brought pain to the parents in the name of jesus from this meeting may the angels of the lord's presence go and fetch those children from the hand of satan in the name of jesus now hear me please i believe in deliverance so there are wicked spirits that will not let people go 
in one word you are in, when i count three i want you to shout the name jesus please hear me any altar that is not of god it must give way now at the count of three as you shout that name i don't care how long it has been that has tied you down and your family down tonight must be your night of breakthrough father i decree and declare it was this shout that brought jericho down a city whose gate was shut the bible says nothing will go out and nothing will come in are you ready to shout jesus every spirit that has tied you by ancestry by bloodline it's time for your liberty one two three shout jesus i command those devils go now help them go now go now go now go now i rebuke you release families release destinies release families release ministries release government release local governments release regions release senatorial districts we command those spirits give way now hallelujah 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 praise the name of the lord now please listen to me i'm about to pray for the sick it is a terrible thing to come from a background where there is a legal access to powers of darkness that can hold sway your life and rubbish you and you are not able to manifest destiny let me tell you the truth some of you who are in government it's not because you are here i want you to mark what happens to you tonight believe me your lives will change in a way that will surprise you it is true hallelujah let me pray for the sick now hear me i believe in the healing power of jesus i am a product of the healing ministry of jesus all those who have come out by the spirit i declare the legal hold of satan over them i stand in agreement and we stand as the church of the lord jesus christ you are released now from every captivity for the bible says even the lawful captives shall be delivered i declare your release now i declare your release now hallelujah now please hear me i want you to lay your hand anywhere you are trusting god for healing right now if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest i want to pray for you i believe in the power of god jesus is real he really is he's alive i'm about to pray for you now all those outside and then those watching by television from any and every nation lay your hands right where and if you are with a sick person maybe in a hospital right now i want you to lay your hands creator of the universe what can you do what can you do Jesus you are the name above every other name what can you change what can you change Jesus creator of the universe what can you do what can you do jesus i want to pray now most sicknesses are caused by spirits beyond the medical diagnosis there are wicked spirits 
that plague human beings listen hold on please do you know why healing is important i will tell you why healing is important because according to the law of creation every human is only given one body per lifetime you are not given two bodies per lifetime you have only one body that is a legitimate host to you the spirit man and anytime that body is deteriorating it is death making a proposal to your life there is a requisite level of health that the body must have for the spirit to remain if the body degenerates and deteriorates beyond that threshold level the spirit will have to live in the event you call death so every time god brings healing it is his proposal to your longevity and health so that you remain and have a body that legitimizes you to operate in this side of his kingdom healing therefore is more than a demonstration of power from a man of god healing is an expression of god's love and god's mercy and his determination to see you continue and remain until your course on earth is over now you can receive knowing what you are receiving please lay your hands and i pray for you when i shout the name of jesus i want you to agree with me now hear me we may not have all the time but then we may just take the first five testimonies just to honor jesus there are dramatic miracles that will happen right now that have even already happened i'm going to pray as i rebuke those spirits i'm going to give you room to check yourself the moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you i want you to just come and stand in front here or here we'll have a few of the pastors who will take you we'll take one or two testimonies and then we'll do a prayer on the request and then just speak over taraba and we're done it will be a very quick walk hallelujah lay your hands there and let's pray now please lay your hands there in the name of jesus in the name of jesus now hear me there is a man who is going to shout loud under the anointing the moment that happens the power of god to heal will begin to move these are the leadings of the holy spirit these are not things they are not fabrications of a man it's just the instruction god is giving me a gentleman a strong anointing now is coming upon him and at that shout the power of god is going to begin to now i can begin to pray Mm. I decree and declare right now every devil behind sicknesses and infirmities help them please my God I come against you in the name of he who died and rose again and I declare depart from the bodies of God's people now depart from the bodies of God's people now I decree and declare be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name blind eyes I command you to be open now deaf ears I command you to be open now those who came here with crutches and could not walk lift it up and begin to walk now in the name of Jesus Christ anybody who was brought on a stretcher life to your body right now in the name of jesus christ hiv be healed now cancer be healed now sugar diabetes be healed now all kinds of blood related diseases be cleansed now in the name of jesus There is a gentleman that God is healing you have something like a growth around your neck the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me a lady or a woman you have suffered pile pile for a very long time 
the power of God is touching you right now heart palpitations be healed in the name of Jesus there are many people here I see according to my visions that have high blood pressure in Jesus name we command it to go down now there is a woman the Lord is showing me I don't know what is your medical diagnosis but they stopped you from eating salt they said you should not eat salt I don't know who that person is I bring the life and the power of Jesus to you right now there's someone you don't hear very well or is it completely you don't hear with your right ear the power of God is touching you now in the name of Jesus Christ lower back pain I declare be healed now there's someone your hands you're not able to move your fingers freely there's excruciating pain the power of God is resting upon you now now every other issue whether I mentioned it or not someone just right here just where I'm touching there's severe pain that you've had there the power of God is touching you right now there is someone God is showing me you are a man of God when you stand on the stage to preach the moment you start shouting you start feeling dizzy almost as if you are losing breath it's a demonic thing be healed right now now whether I mention your issue or not I decree and declare be healed now outside be healed now online be healed now within the auditorium be healed now even for your family members scattered all around Taraba and the nations may the healing power of Jesus touch them right where they are in the name of Jesus now very quickly in one minute I want you to check yourself miracles have happening have happened and are happening the moment you find out something has happened to you courageously a pastor wave your hand people are coming let them see you and then begin to come let's take a few testimonies while that is happening very quickly can we have the prayer requests here if you are yet to submit your prayer request can you wave it please be seated for a few minutes God bless you let's have those who have been touched boldly courageously make your way to the front make your way to the front make your way to the front are you clapping for them Jesus is touching people Jesus is touching people God bless you for those coming from outside please allow them come those who have been touched by the power of God let's have a few testimonies his excellency already told us that Jesus is a Nigerian but that he resides in Taraba so to witness the wonder working power of that Jesus hallelujah very quickly please apostle oh, yes sir we have a miracle here yes sir this uh, this chap here had a pain in the right side of his his, his what's stomach. his name God's love how long have you had this my friend since last year since last year where is the pain at my right hand side and now what happened to you bend down any pain bend down any pain are you giving Jesus praise I'll... completely healed by the power of God that's a powerful testimony yes there, please when you gave the word about a woman with pile a woman with pile yes she said the pile stopped and went to hell where it came far from came mama from. how long have you had this let her talk for about two years now for two years two years yes. medically verified yes and now I even stood blood in the afternoon before coming here come again please help us with her mic I said I even stood blood when I went to the toilet in the afternoon today before coming here and I came here with the pain and immediately we started praying the pain just ceased can you imagine I prophesy to you that these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever yes sir this is a case of a stroke he came all the way from Gimbu he came he, all the way from Gimbu where is that <laughs> okay here in Taraba. yes sir in Taraba about seven the mountain yes sir. you are this mountain people okay go ahead he, he. okay uh, let him speak what happened to him very quickly he had 
Please let him speak. I had a stroke. You came here with stroke. Yeah. You 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 are aware. Give her the mic. He's your what? He's my father. He's your father. Yes. What couldn't you do, sir? You Lift the hand. Look at this. Drop it down. <laughs> Lift it up again. Help the lady. Drop it down. Oh, come on. Are you are you giving give Jesus glory? Are you the miracle is beginning like to that. happen? <laughs> sir, walk. Try to walk. Walk. Look at this. He came here with a stroke. In the name of Jesus, perfection for you. Even by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, celebrate the Lord. Oh dear, the power of God is on his daughter. Yes, please. This is a drastic testimony. He had a swollen in his throat. A swelling. But when you gave the word, yes, it took back to hell where it came back. Came Completely. From. How long, my friend? For four days now. For four days plus. Okay, and it's gone now. Yes, sir. In Jesus' name, it, it, it never returns to you again. Amen. Very quickly, please. There is a woman here for four years. You have not had helper for four years you have not had um, um the fruit of the womb i know there are many people but this person that's it the power of god who is that person your life is about to change helper helper you don't please help them i decree and declare the lord has revealed this to me according to the time of life by next year you are returning with a baby boy this is what I've seen. Hallelujah. Who is Maimuna? I'm hearing a name, Maimuna. Is there someone with that name? We don't have all the time. We have to work with time so that. Um, but I'm hearing a name, Maimuna. And for that person, the Lord is saying that He's bringing an end to captivity. Maimuna. This is something that has to do with witchcraft over the family. I don't know where that person is but in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that power of witchcraft is broken now yes sir this is the woman case. is crying yes sir what it's, happened it's a case of 18 years of 18 years abdominal let her speak pain. my God <laughs> hallelujah I've been suffering for a lower abdominal pain for 18 years 18 years <laughs> what couldn't you do And right now, bend any pain completely. Check yourself, twist any pain, any pain. Let's celebrate Jesus. This is a case of a feverish condition. But while, while you were speaking, what happened to her? She had fever, severe fever, fever yes, and the fever is gone. It's gone. You heard the testimony of a dare was it a man of god or someone who testified as i came in that had a little baby and the fever is gone now in jesus name i declare you are healed and perfected by the power of the holy spirit yes please very quickly okay Hallelujah. for the past five days i have a swollen i couldn't eat i couldn't sleep my husband can testify to where's your husband yes. megida and agake yes. come I couldn't sleep. A, let's celebrate the I husband. Did not sleep. I know Is what it I'm here? Yes. And I came from the office. Straight from the office. Very sick. You came from the office? Yes, very sick. Where is the sick. husband? Husband. Is that true? Huh? Yes. And what happened to her now? I'm here. She's disappeared. Yes. Look at this. Help her, help her. The power of God is on her. In the name of Jesus Christ i say it again the egyptians that followed you here you will see them no more forever <laughs> hallelujah god bless you let's take two or three and then we'll head straight to yeah i was having ovarian cyst i went to the hospital ovarian and, cyst yes and i went to sky medically confirmed yes for how long ma it's about one year getting to two years now precisely yes and I went, my mother prescribed, I took medicine, the pain still persists. And they Ovarian said, cyst? Yes. Uh-huh. All my ovaries were affected. All your ovaries? Yes. You see how demonic the devil is? 
you put yourself in this woman's shoes i'm not a woman and but you can imagine the kind of pain that this our dear sister must have been going through what happened now Immediately when I came, when you shouted that there is a woman that has pain, the pain just disappeared. Press your stomach. Any pain? Any pain? You see, ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. Ladies and gentlemen, this is more than just showing that Joshua Selman is powerful. I will keep telling you. Are we together now yes this is revealing that jesus is still lord and that if he can do this kind of miracle is it a job he cannot give you if he can do this kind of miracle is it honor or restoration he cannot bring in your life so more than just looking at a man as a superstar i want your attention to be directed as jesus who is the king of kings and the lord of lords we are only privileged vessels to be used by him do not forget this hallelujah my sister it will never return to you again in the name of jesus yes please amen as daddy and as that no one is feeling best I'm not sure we can hear her, whether English or Hausa, whichever is convenient for her. But man, and this spirit that I've been passing through this special problem for the past 11 years. I can tell that it is 11 school. years. Yes, I can tell it in school, but in school, I better go make your school it work. I've been going to be hospitals now. I'm not sure I can. What, what did she say, this, sir? What I'm feeling now is prison. I'm in prison. Please, somebody is prison. Yes, sir. Yeah? she's talking about the power of god has come upon her she's feeling ah okay okay in the name of jesus look at me my dear i decree and declare liberty for you eh? and complete healing for you in jesus name i pray god bless you that's the end of it let me hear that little girl's testimony girl yes I had to take look at this smart Taraba babies let's celebrate our children look how composed and intelligent and smart some of you cannot stand in front like this and speak you know what I'm saying yes my dear what is your name by the way my name is Sophia Michael can you see that Taraba don't tempt us to bring our children here for school yes what happened to you I had toothache since 2018. You had toothache? Yes. Since 2018? Yes. And what happened to you now? See, when you pray, when you said you should pray, and I, be, I began to pray, suddenly it disappeared, and I'm not feeling any pain again. Remember a beautiful song we used to sing? Jesus loves the little children all the children of the world red brown yellow black and white they are precious in his sight jesus loves the little children yes please ear pain. if they can't talk help them she Don't had them on the ear pains ear pain yes sir baby what is your name give a good deal what's the name give a gift good what happened to you your ears it was paining you before and now it's gone hallelujah it will never return again in jesus name um okay let's let's just have one maybe one let's just have two of the children then one adult the rest can testify tomorrow so that we'll wrap up yes go ahead i have a throat pain and right now what happened baby when you said that i should pray i pray to you and the team disappear and i was still on trust let's celebrate our beautiful baby in the name of jesus you are healed by the power of god yes madam praise the lord i was having palpitation and a kind of heart let's attack. just have some silence so that yes ma and a kind of heart attack if i hear somebody heart attack? yes if i hear somebody shout i would just feel shock a okay. kind of panicking and always my heart is always breathing abnormal and right now what happened i'm to you? feeling better now completely yes. it never returns to you in the name of jesus 
now hear me whether you had the opportunity to testify or not inside and outside we agree and we declare that your miracles are permanent in jesus name i pray how many of you believe in the power of answered prayers the bible says unto thee that answers prayers shall all flesh come so may i request if you are not tired those who are already standing keep standing those sitting please sit let's honor them just be sure to stretch your hand whether you are sitting or standing stretch your hand prophetically as we pray over the request go ahead declare as you are stretching your hands this is the most accurate representation of your desires and the bible says what things soever ye desire it says when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it if we still have some of the requests please bring them very quickly we're about to pray hallelujah go ahead stretch your hands i'm going to bow my knees and pray over the requests and ask the lord himself to visit taraba you love taraba and you love everybody here please i'd like you to pray in one minute In the name of Jesus, shout a believing Amen. Yeah. Father, I stand in agreement with every man and woman of God in this place. And under this corporate anointing, we declare every request that has been dropped before this altar, let it be turned to a testimony. Let it be turned to a testimony let it be turned to a testimony in the name of jesus christ hear me every human agent who must come in partnership with god for this request to be answered we decree and declare may they come forth for your sake in the name of jesus christ and anyone who says over his dead body for this request to be answered in the name of jesus christ the earth will open and swallow them i stand prophetically upon this request anything that has stood upon you and brought you pain and tears this night here in taraba under the influence of the grace that is upon this assembly and this ministry and end comes to it now Taraba, lift up your heads all ye gates and be ye lifted ancient doors i speak to the north the south and the east of Taraba every blood sucking spirit whether as terrorism whether as manipulations of darkness the earth opens to swallow them now i decree and i prophesy there must be peace in taraba there must be progress in taraba there must be advancement in taraba we use his excellency as a point of contact and all the members of cabinet to pray for all those who are serving in whatever capacity in the name of jesus on account of this program tonight you will not fail i pray for every home here represented 
in the name of Jesus the sound of mourning and shame comes to an end we pray for every church that names the name of Christ in Taraba even though this is through the platform of the Anglican communion but they have so graciously opened up their hearts to include everyone here therefore I declare every altar in Taraba that preaches the name of Christ let it be on fire for Jesus prophetically we attract the attention of investors both local and international to Taraba in the name of Jesus hear me if there is anything planted in your soil to destroy the prophetic destiny of this state I stand by the privilege of priesthood in the name of Jesus it is hereby nullified the spirit of untimely death that keeps killing the youth male and female that evil report comes to an end now hear me I pray for every elderly person here as a point of contact to our elders in Taraba anybody from 60 years above we enter a covenant of life for the elderly in Taraba there will be no longer untimely death in the name of Jesus let me pray for the youth in the name of Jesus right from Taraba we export you as agents of change go across the globe educationally politically in ministry in business become captains of industry in the name of Jesus Christ the spirit of cultism prostitution moral decadence we bury permanently over Taraba finally I decree and declare that by reason of this conference let Taraba become a light and a beacon even across the entire north and the nation in the name of Jesus Christ we pray all this in the name of the Father in the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit turn to someone by your left and right and congratulate them this is a new me it's a new Taraba it's a new season of the supernatural in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God our man of God Apostle Joshua Salman and that is I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed <laughs> Hear me? There are people here 
everything works for others until it gets to your turn the moment it gets to your turn mysteriously you don't seem to be able to step into certain blessings i stretch my hands let a mantle from heaven rest upon your life now help that man please rest upon your life now help that man my god help this woman the power of god is coming on you madam you will never be the same again hallelujah bring them out now the the lord is ministering to me to break the chains of untimely death there are many families here there is a track record burying loved ones before their time older parents burying the young ones i don't know who is standing here and there is an altar of death against your life but in the name of jesus at the count of three that devil must let you go i don't care how many years for the bible says blotting out every handwriting an ordinance that spoke against us therefore at the count of three let the spirit of death leave you one two three go 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 release your destinies now help them please release your destinies now untimely death over taraba state we command be banished in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah now please hear me i want to say something that i do not want you to find offensive there is a spirit around the middle belt that stems right up to these regions that does not allow anything that is started well to last beyond one or two generations you will find a responsible and successful father but there is no responsible son we almost don't have third or fourth generation anything because it looks like there is a spirit that aborts sustainability of impact i want to rebuke that spirit right now in the name of jesus for every parent here every captain of industry here you will not labor for nothing in the name of jesus if there is any family here help them that has a child male or female that is giving the problem the parents problems they are prayed and fasted and counseled some of them were sent abroad and they returned back in a way that brought pain to the parents in the name of jesus from this meeting may the angels of the lord's presence go and fetch those children from the hand of satan in the name of jesus now hear me please i believe in deliverance so there are wicked spirits that will not let people go in one word you are in when i count three i want you to shout the name jesus please hear me any altar that is not of god it must give way now at the count of three as you shout that name i don't care how long it has been that has tied you down and your family down tonight must be your night of breakthrough father i decree and declare it was this shout that brought jericho down a city whose gate was shut the bible says nothing will go out and nothing will come in are you ready to shout jesus every spirit that has tied you by ancestry by bloodline it's time for your liberty one two three shout jesus i command those devils go now help them go now go now go now go now i rebuke you release families release destinies 
release families release ministries release government release local governments release regions release senatorial districts we command those spirits give way now hallelujah 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 praise the name of the lord now please listen to me i'm about to pray for the sick it is a terrible thing to come from a background where there is a legal access to powers of darkness that can hold sway your life and rubbish you and you are not able to manifest destiny let me tell you the truth some of you who are in government it's not because you are here i want you to mark what happens to you tonight believe me your lives will change in a way that will surprise you it is true hallelujah let me pray for the sick now hear me i believe in the healing power of jesus i am a product of the healing ministry of jesus all those who have come out by the spirit i declare the legal hold of satan over them i stand in agreement and we stand as the church of the lord jesus christ you are released now from every captivity for the bible says even the lawful captives shall be delivered i declare your release now i declare your release now hallelujah now please hear me i want you to lay your hand anywhere you are trusting god for healing right now if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest i want to pray for you i believe in the power of god jesus is real he really is he's alive I'm about to pray for you now all those outside and then those watching by television from any and every nation lay your hands right where and if you are with a sick person maybe in a hospital right now I want you to lay your hands creator of the universe what can you do what can't you do, Jesus? You are the name above every other name. What can't you change? What can't you change, Jesus? Creator of the universe what can you do what can you do jesus i want to pray now most sicknesses are caused by spirits beyond the medical diagnosis there are wicked spirits that plague human beings listen hold on please do you know why healing is important i will tell you why healing is important because according to the law of creation every human is only given one body per lifetime you are not given two bodies per lifetime you have only one body that is a legitimate host to you the spirit man and anytime that body is deteriorating it is death making a proposal to your life there is a requisite level of health that the body must have for the spirit to remain if the body degenerates and deteriorates beyond that threshold level the spirit will have to live in the event you call death so every time god brings healing it is his proposal to your longevity and health so that you remain and have a body that legitimizes you 
to operate in this side of his kingdom healing therefore is more than a demonstration of power from a man of god healing is an expression of god's love and god's mercy and his determination to see you continue and remain until your course on earth is over now you can receive knowing what you are receiving please lay your hands and i pray for you when i shout the name of jesus i want you to agree with me now hear me we may not have all the time but then we may just take the first five testimonies just to honor jesus there are dramatic miracles that will happen right now that have even already happened i'm going to pray as i rebuke those spirits i'm going to give you room to check yourself the moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you i want you to just come and stand in front here or here we'll have a few of the pastors who will take you we'll take one or two testimonies and then we'll do a prayer on the request and then just speak over taraba and we're done it will be a very quick walk hallelujah lay your hands there and let's pray now please lay your hands there in the name of jesus in the name of jesus now hear me there is a man who is going to shout loud under the anointing the moment that happens the power of god to heal will begin to move these are the leadings of the holy spirit these are not things they are not fabrications of a man it's just the instruction god is giving me a gentleman a strong anointing now is coming upon him and at that shout the power of god is going to begin to now i can begin to pray I decree and declare right now every devil behind sicknesses and infirmities help them please my God I come against you in the name of he who died and rose again and I declare depart from the bodies of God's people now depart from the bodies of God's people now I decree and declare be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name blind eyes I command you to be open now deaf ears I command you to be open now those who came here with crutches and could not walk lift it up and begin to walk now in the name of Jesus Christ anybody who was brought on a stretcher life to your body right now in the name of jesus christ hiv be healed now cancer be healed now sugar diabetes be healed now all kinds of blood related diseases be cleansed now in the name of jesus There is a gentleman that God is healing. You have something like a growth around your neck. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me a lady or a woman. You have suffered pile. Pile for a very long time. The power of God is touching you right now. Heart palpitations. Be healed in the name of Jesus. There are many people here I see according to my visions that have high blood pressure in jesus name we command it to go down now there is a woman the lord is showing me i don't know what is your medical diagnosis but they stopped you from eating salt they said you should not eat salt i don't know who that person is i bring the life and the power of jesus to you right now there's someone you don't hear very well or is it completely you don't hear with your right ear the power of God is touching you now in the name of Jesus Christ lower back pain I declare be healed now there's someone your hands you're not able to move your fingers freely there's excruciating pain 
the power of God is resting upon you now. Now every other issue, whether I mentioned it or not, someone just right here, just where I'm touching, the severe pain that you've had there, the power of God is touching you right now. There is someone God is showing me, you are a man of God. When you stand on the stage to preach, the moment you start shouting, you start feeling dizzy, almost as if you are losing breath. It's a demonic thing. Be healed right now. Now, whether I mention your issue or not, I decree and declare, be healed now. Outside, be healed now. Online, be healed now. Within the auditorium, be healed now. Even for your family members scattered all around Taraba and the nations, may the healing power of Jesus touch them right where they are. In the name of Jesus. Now, very quickly, in one minute, I want you to check yourself. Miracles have happening, have happened and are happening. The moment you find out something has happened to you, courageously, a pastor, wave your hand, people are coming let them see you and then begin to come let's take a few testimonies while that is happening very quickly can we have the prayer requests here if you are yet to submit your prayer request can you wave it please be seated for a few minutes god bless you let's have those who have been touched boldly courageously make your way to the front make your way to the front make your way to the front are you clapping for them jesus is touching people jesus is touching people god bless you for those coming from outside please allow them come those who have been touched by the power of god let's have a few testimonies his excellency already told us that jesus is a nigerian but that he resides in taraba so to witness the wonder walking power of that jesus hallelujah very quickly please apostle oh, yes sir we have a miracle here yes sir this uh, this chap here had a pain in the right side of his his, his what's his name god love how long have you had this my friend since last year since last year where is the pain at my right hand side and now what happened to you bend down any pain bend down any pain are you giving jesus praise I'll... completely healed by the power of god that's a powerful testimony yes there, please Apostle when you gave the word about a woman with pile a woman with pile yes she said the pile stopped and went to hell where it came from, from. mama how long have you had this let her talk for about two years now for two years two years yes. medically verified yes and now i even stood blood in the afternoon before coming here come again please help us with her mic I said, I even stood blood when I went to the toilet in the afternoon today before coming here and I came here with the pain and immediately we started praying. The pain just ceased. Can you imagine? I prophesy to you that these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. Yes, sir. This is a case of a stroke. He came all the way from Gimbu. He came he, all the way from Gimbu. Where is know. that? <laughs> okay, it's, here in Taraba. Yes, sir, in Taraba. About seven. The mountain. Three. Yes, sir. You are this mountain people. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> he, he. Okay, uh, let him speak. What happened to him? Very quickly. Please let him speak. I had a stroke. You came here with stroke. Yeah. You, you, you are where? Give her the mic. Oh my God. He's your what? He's my father. He's your father. Yes. What couldn't you do, sir? Lift the hand. Look at this. Drop it down. Lift it up again. Help the lady. Drop it down. Oh, come on. Are you are you giving Jesus glory? Are you the miracle is beginning like to that? happen? Sir, walk. Try to walk. Walk. Look at this. He came here with a stroke. In the name of Jesus, perfection for you. Even by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, celebrate the Lord. Oh dear, the power of God is on his daughter. Yes, please. This is a drastic testimony. He had a swollen in his throat. A swelling. But when you gave the word, yes, it took back to hell where it came back. Came Completely. From. How long, my friend? For four days now. For four days plus. 
okay and it's gone now yes in I jesus know. name it, it it never returns to you again Amen. very quickly please there is a woman here for four years you have not had helper for four years you have not had um, um the fruit of the womb i know there are many people but this person that's it the power of god who is that person your life is about to change help her help her you don't please help them i decree and declare the lord has revealed this to me according to the time of life by next year you are returning with a baby boy this is what i've seen hallelujah who is maimuna i'm hearing a name maimuna is there someone with that name we don't have all the time we have to work with time so that um but i'm hearing a name maimuna and for that person the lord is saying that he's bringing an end to captivity maimuna this is something that has to do with witchcraft over the family i don't know where that person is but in the name of jesus i decree and declare that power of witchcraft is broken now yes sir this is the woman case. is crying yes sir what it's, happened it's a case of 18 years of 18 abdomen, years abdomen let her speak pain. my god <laughs> hallelujah i've been suffering for lower abdominal pain for 18 years 18 years <laughs> what couldn't you do i've seen so many doctors and right <laughs> now bend any pain Nothing. completely check yourself twist any pain any pain let's celebrate jesus this is a case of a feverish condition the while while you were speaking what happened to her she had fever severe fever, fever yes sir. and the fever is gone. gone you heard the testimony of a dare was it a man of god or someone who testified as i came in that had a little baby and the fever is gone now in jesus name i declare you are healed and perfected by the power of the holy spirit yes please very quickly okay Hallelujah. for the past five days i have a swollen i couldn't eat i couldn't sleep my husband can testify to where's that. your husband yes. megida and agage yes. come yes. i couldn't sleep let's celebrate the I husband did not sleep. I know is he I'm here Straight from the office, very sick. You came from the office. Yes, very sick. Where is the sick. husband? Husband, is that true? Very, huh? Yes. And what happened to her now? I'm here. He's disappeared. Yes. Look at this. Help her, help her. The power of God is on her. In the name of Jesus Christ, I say it again. The Egyptians that followed you here, you will see them no more forever. hallelujah god bless you let's take two or three and then we'll head straight to yeah i was having ovarian cyst i went to the hospital ovarian and cyst yes and i went for sky medically sky. confirmed yes for how long ma it's about one year getting to two years now precisely yes and i went my mother prescribed i took medicine the pain still persists and they ovarian said, cyst yes uh-huh all my ovaries were affected all your ovaries yes you see how demonic the devil is you put yourself in this woman's shoes i'm not a woman and but you can imagine the kind of pain that this our dear sister must have been going through what happened now and immediately when i came when you shouted that there is a woman that have pain the pain just disappeared Press your stomach. Any pain. Any pain. You see, ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. Ladies and gentlemen, this is more than just showing that Joshua Selman is powerful. I will keep telling you. Are we together now? Yes. This is revealing that Jesus is still Lord. And that if he can do this kind of miracle, is it a job he cannot give you? If he can do this kind of miracle, is it honor or restoration he cannot bring in your life? 
so more than just looking at a man as a superstar i want your attention to be directed as jesus who is the king of kings and the lord of lords we are only privileged vessels to be used by him do not forget this hallelujah my sister it will never return to you again in the name of jesus yes please amen as daddy announced that no one is feeling pain i'm not sure we can hear her whether english or house whichever is convenient for her but i have been passing through this special problem for the past 11 years i can tell that it is 11 school. years yes i can tell it is school in body school i'm gonna go make your school with broken i've been going to the hospital my no. apologies i'm not sure i can what what did she say Please. sir what i'm feeling now is Yes, sir. Eh? She's talking about the power of God has come upon her. She's feeling. Ah, okay, okay. In the name of Jesus, look at me, my dear. I decree and declare liberty for you, eh? and complete healing for you. In Jesus' name, I pray. God bless you. That's the end of it. Let me get that little girl's testimony. Girl, yes. I had to take look at this smart taraba babies let's celebrate our children look how composed and intelligent and smart some of you cannot stand in front like this and speak you know what I'm saying yes my dear what is your name by the way my name is Sophia Michael can you see that taraba don't tempt us to bring our children here for school yes what happened to you I had toothache since 2018. You had toothache? Yes. Since 2018? Yes. And what happened to you now? See, when you pray, when you said you should pray, and I, be, I began to pray, suddenly it disappeared, and I'm not feeling any pain again. Remember a beautiful song we used to sing? Jesus loves the little children all the children of the world red brown yellow black and white they are precious in his sight jesus loves the little children yes please ear pain. if they can't talk help them she Don't had them on the ear point. pains ear pain yes sir baby what is your name give a good deal what's the name give a gift good what happened to you your ears it was paining you before and now it's gone hallelujah it will never return again in jesus name um okay let's let's just have one maybe one let's just have two of the children then one adult the rest can testify tomorrow so that we'll wrap up yes go ahead i have a throat pain and right now what happened baby when you said that i should pray i pray to you and the thing disappear and i was still on cross let's celebrate our beautiful baby in the name of jesus you are healed by the power of god yes madam praise the lord i was having palpitation and a kind of heart let's attack. just have some silence so that yes ma and a kind of heart attack if i hear somebody heart attack? yes if i hear somebody shout i would just feel shock a okay. kind of panicking and always my heart is always breathing abnormal and right now what happened i'm to you? feeling better now completely yes. it never returns to you in the name of jesus <laughs> now hear me whether you had the opportunity to testify or not inside and outside we agree and we declare that your miracles are permanent in jesus name i pray how many of you believe in the power of answered prayers the bible says unto thee that answers prayers shall all flesh come so may i request if you are not tired those who are already standing keep standing those sitting please sit let's honor them just be sure to stretch your hand whether you are sitting or standing stretch your hand prophetically as we pray over the request go ahead declare as you are stretching your hands this is the most accurate representation of your desires and the bible says what things soever ye desire it says when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it if we still have some of the requests please bring them very quickly we're about to pray hallelujah go ahead stretch your hands 
I'm going to bow my knees and pray over the requests and ask the Lord himself to visit Taraba. You love Taraba and you love everybody here. Please, I'd like you to pray in one minute. In the name of Jesus, shout a believing amen. Yeah. Father, I stand in agreement with every man and woman of God in this place. And under this corporate anointing, we declare every request that has been dropped before this altar, let it be turned to a testimony. Let it be turned to a testimony let it be turned to a testimony in the name of jesus christ hear me every human agent who must come in partnership with god for this request to be answered we decree and declare may they come forth for your sake in the name of jesus christ and anyone who says over his dead body for this request to be answered in the name of Jesus Christ the earth will open and swallow them I stand prophetically upon this request anything that has stood upon you and brought you pain and tears this night here in Taraba under the influence of the grace that is upon this assembly and this ministry and end comes to it now Taraba, lift up your heads all ye gates and be ye lifted ancient doors i speak to the north the south and the east of Taraba every blood sucking spirit whether as terrorism whether as manipulations of darkness the earth opens to swallow them now I decree and I prophesy there must be peace in Taraba there must be progress in Taraba there must be advancement in Taraba we use his excellency as a point of contact and all the members of cabinet to pray for all those who are serving in whatever capacity in the name of jesus on account of this program tonight you will not fail i pray for every home here represented in the name of jesus the sound of mourning and shame comes to an end We pray for every church that names the name of Christ in Taraba. Even though this is through the platform of the Anglican Communion, but they have so graciously opened up their hearts to include everyone here. Therefore, I declare every altar in Taraba that preaches the name of Christ, let it be on fire for Jesus. prophetically we attract the attention of investors both local and international to Taraba in the name of Jesus hear me if there is anything planted in your soil to destroy the prophetic destiny of this state I stand by the privilege of priesthood in the name of Jesus it is hereby nullified 
the spirit of untimely death that keeps killing the youth male and female that evil report comes to an end now hear me i pray for every elderly person here as a point of contact to our elders in taraba anybody from 60 years above we enter a covenant of life for the elderly in taraba there will be no longer untimely death in the name of jesus let me pray for the youth in the name of jesus right from taraba we export you as agents of change go across the globe educationally politically in ministry in business become captains of industry in the name of jesus christ the spirit of cultism prostitution moral decadence we bury it permanently over taraba finally i decree and declare that by reason of this conference let taraba become a light and a beacon even across the entire north and the nation in the name of jesus christ we pray all this in the name of the father in the name of the son and in the name of the holy spirit turn to someone by your left and right and congratulate them this is a new me it's a new taraba it's a new season of the supernatural in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye that everything that does not work and it continues and remains so they are powered by altars it's time to deal with it is someone ready tonight the first thing we are going to do right now please listen no distraction please don't allow the devil distract you we are working with time in the next two or three minutes you are going to cry a, we are going to do a corporate prayer of repentance before god don't be too proud oh you are going to cry before the god of it you don't have to lie down or whatever whatever position is comfortable not as an act of condemnation genuinely before the god of heaven and say lord i'm standing in repentance if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways some of you need to pray on behalf of your children on behalf of your husband on behalf of your wife lord i take the responsibility of priesthood there are men of god who need to stand on behalf of their congregations there are business ceos that need to stand on behalf of their corporations lord we plead mercy over every altar of sin and iniquity that is empowering every other negative altar death delays retrogression stagnation please pray god is giving you a chance Shabalakatos. those following from your homes following by way of television or internet when a moment of deep brokenness and repentance a broken and a contrite heart oh god thou will not despise mercy oh god mercy oh god 
give me Psalm 51. While you are praying, I'm going to be reading for you Psalm 51. Please give us Psalm 51 while we pray. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgression. Verse 2, please hurry up. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgression. My sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only have I sinned. And done this evil in your sight. Verse 4. That thou mightest be justified. Please give us verse 4. We are not done. When thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest, verse 5. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden parts shalt thou make me to know wisdom. Uh -huh. Purge me with high soap, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out my iniquities. Verse 10. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence. Take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Verse 12. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and behold me with this and uphold me with a free spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall be converted to thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips. And my mouth shall speak forth your praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice. Else I would have given it. Thou desirest not in bond offering. Thou delightest not in bond offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit. And a contrite heart, O God. Thou shalt not despise. Next verse. Do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Someone is praying. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness. With burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thy altar. Lift your voice in one minute. You are praying for yourself. Pray for your organization. Lord, I found out the reason behind these consistent plagues consistent pain consistent delay consistent retrogression consistent failure consistent sickness mercy mercy in the name of jesus mercy we come boldly to the throne of grace. We obtain mercy and we find grace to help in time of need. Mercy for Nigeria. Mercy for our regions. Mercy for Koinonia. Mercy for every family here. Mercy for every business. Mercy for every captain of industry. Every politician. Every head of parliament. Every professional. Mercy for our children. Mercy for those who have gone ahead of us. In the name of Jesus. Prayer point number two. As for me and my house, Lord, I agree with you this day that I will serve the Lord. No other name, no other God, no other force, no other influence. Someone is praying. Please pray. Whether you come from Lagos, whether you come from Plateau State, from Kaduna State, from Maiduguri, from Enugu, Anambra, Cross River, Port Harcourt, it does not matter whether you are from the FCT. Lord, as for me and my house, 
I dissociate myself from the ordinances of idols. Someone is praying. I dissociate myself from the worship of deities, fraternities with gods that are not the true God. I declare that as for me and my family, I worship the one true God, Jesus, the son of the living God. It doesn't matter what shrine you went to. It doesn't matter what the fathers did. Lord, we pray as a nation. Lord, we pray as a region. As for me and my house. As for me and this ministry. Someone pray. As for me and my children. Pray. As for me and my wife. As for me and my husband. As for me and my corporation. Outside make sure you are praying. All the overflows. As for me. And my house. We will live for Jesus. We will serve the Lord. Pastors pray as for me and the vision God has given me. No consulting mediums, no consulting powers, no consulting shrines. It is Jesus only, Jesus ever, Jesus only, Jesus ever as the source of power, as the source of revelation, as the source of illumination. No bribery. No corruption. Shabran de Gabalaka Tosco to Predecatola Sedia Embra Catapaco de Sabaricate. Pastors pray. No manipulating members. Sincerity of truth. Loving them and serving them. In the name of Jesus. Now don't be tired. We are still praying. Right now. On legal basis. You are going to pray. And declare. That every altar. That he that told. Has had any legal grounds on your life. The blood is against it. He said we overcame them. By the blood of the lamb. Someone open your mouth and begin to decree. In the name of Jesus. The blood of the everlasting covenant. Is against altars of untimely death pray you know what alters by the patterns in your life call it by name and curse it by the god of heaven operations of poverty operations of failure at the edge of breakthrough visitations of wicked spirits molesting you that everything you do seems to fail Of the throne of grace I come by the backing of the throne of grace someone pray a new order is imagined from you tonight your children will thank you your children's children will thank you they will say at what point did this transformation start and you will tell them when i found the revelation of the mystery of altars someone prophesy 
My father may have died early. My mother may have died early. But I will not die early. I will not die on timely death. In the name of Jesus, I am crushing that altar by the power of the blood of Jesus. Pray. Graduates from the families. No job. No lifting. Pray. People don't get married. Or they get married and the homes don't stay. Barrenness. Repetitive patterns. Failures in business. Someone pray. The operation of these altars come to an end from Lagos to Abuja to Maiduguri to Kaduna State to Rivers to Cross River to Kogi State. I don't care how long they have lasted. Lord, we pray. Someone pray. Ilana malakata brada gada belakatosh shagra gada berakatosh kade lakata embra gada bras kade lakata broda kate egra fete gada baros kade lakata embra pakato prakate balakata prehetesh enough is enough in the name of Jesus someone pray enough is enough enough is enough we are bringing a new order pray for your family enough is enough. Enough is enough of children becoming useless. Enough is enough of people never finishing what they start. Enough is enough. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please listen to me. In the name of Jesus. When I started ministry and I discovered that not many people from my region had had the privilege to rise to a global level and to stay and to last sustainably in ministry, I said my nose me. But I knew that it would not just be empty talk. You see, let me tell you something about altars. They don't care whether you are a pastor. They don't care whether you are whatever. Once there is no compliance, you can stand and be making a lot of noise and yet nothing will happen. I made up my mind that I will serve the purposes of God at a global level and that anything that pegs people from my region and keeps them at a particular level, that it will be in my lifetime I will rewrite that narrative. You are going to pray one more prayer before I speak over it, please don't be tired. You came here tonight to deal with these things once and for all. You are going to pray. My destiny and my glory, I connect you to the throne of grace. Go ahead and pray. My destiny and my glory, you are connected to that altar called the throne of grace. My destiny and my glory, you are not connected to ancestry my destiny and my glory you are not connected to wizardry and human manipulation my destiny and my glory you are not connected to earthly and platforms you are connected to the throne of grace someone pray my destiny my glory pray for your ministry my business your influence the workings of the spirit in your life connected to the throne of grace backed up by the king of kings himself backed up by the blood of the eternal covenant the meaning of that is no enchantment and no divination no enchantment no activities of wizardry necromancy the wasters of destiny they have no access to your life again connected to the altar
this prayer you are not wasting your time connect your business by faith in the son of the living God not as a blind ritual no let it be known in the realm of the spirit that from this day forward I am no longer connected to ancestry someone is praying let it be known in the realm of the spirit that from this day forward I am not connected to the limitations of bloodline let it be known in the realm of the spirit that from this day forward connected to the throne of grace Let it be known to principalities and powers. Let it be known to thrones and dominions that there is a switch of loyalty. Let it be known to principalities and powers that there is a switch of loyalty from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of God's dear son. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hear me, my dear people. Everyone is destined by Christ to rise. There is nobody who is destined to remain down. Please place your right hand on your head prophetically. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. I lay me down and I slept. I wait for the Lord sustains me. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we are still praying. Please don't be distracted. I stand by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic. Any system of authorization, whether as a result of personal sin, whether as a result of territorial sin, all foundations and bloodline by the mercy of God I decree and declare their legal hold over you is hereby broken hereby broken therefore every negative pattern every frequent occurrence that is inconsistent with that which the word of God says should be in the name that is above all names, I bring to end those patterns now. I bring to end those patterns now. Patterns of untimely death. Patterns of perversions. Patterns of delay. Patterns of limitation. Be broken now. Patterns of poverty. I'm begging and hardship be broken now. Patterns of mediocrity and inferiority be broken in the name of Jesus. Hear me. Where you have not risen to before, by reason of these limitations, I stand by the power of the Holy Ghost. Rise to that level. Rise to that level in career rise to that level hear me if there is anyone here whose destiny is not open and is not speaking you love God you are sincere but your life is grounded and that's what you have seen happen to other people in the name of Jesus I decree and declare like a little flower 
opens up and begins to board, I command your destiny to open up. Open up financially. Open up. Hallelujah. Now, in the name of Jesus, if there is any priesthood servicing any altar against you, whether by reason of where you come from, that means there are human beings alive who continue to fuel those altars. Manikesh Shabarata. In the name of Jesus, I bring to an end the reign of such priesthood. Their enchantments will no longer walk like the prophets of Baal. They will not receive any answers again. We shut the realm of the spirit against them. We shut the power of the sun against them. We shut the power of the wind against them. We shut the power of the earth against them. In the name of Jesus. Every medium of expression ceases to work for them. If there is anyone here having any infirmity in your body that has defied medical attention and you know that this is a direct result of witchcraft right now in the name of Jesus that sickness leaves your body now help them please that sickness leaves your body now high blood pressure diabetes hepatitis in Aparish Kotebata, it leaves your body now. Lumps and growths in your body, demonic things that have defied. Some of you have had surgeries again and again, and it will not go. I curse it now in the name of Jesus. Hear me. Every experience of seeing dead people come to harass you. My Bible says that the living and the dead have nothing in common. There are times you may have encounters with the spirits of just men made perfect. But that does not bring oppression. In the name of Jesus, the system that authorizes familiar spirits to use the faces of men and oppress you and plant all kinds of things in your body and your destiny, it is broken now. It is broken now. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. Salas kade bas kana kata branda kete koto, kete branda kata bako tosko kopre kete kene kata. The face of development, Lord, grant me the discipline. Skipada kata bronda skipada, embreke teka toba selera dabosh, leka te prato skipada katosh, zeke teke 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 te, embreka tosko te breke tea. In the name of Jesus, restoration by the God of Wonders. Restoration in the name of Jesus, and the fortunes of Job were restored to him. The fortunes of Job were restored to him. Declare speed over your life. Lord, give me speed. Give me speed. Give me speed. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Two more prayers. Ah! Kali Branda Gatosiata. Esther chapter 6. Esther chapter 6. Something is about to happen to someone. Esther chapter 6 from verse 1. Please give it to us. 
on that night could not the king sleep and he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles and they were read before the king verse 2 and it was found written that Mordecai that Joshua Selman had done something before and had not been rewarded that night it was recorded in heaven that you have been faithfully serving as a pastor but your reward is yet to come it was recorded in heaven that you served your boss or your master faithfully isn't it amazing that sometimes you can serve sincerely and men can forget joseph served the wine presser when he got to the palace he forgot him for two years he added two years of pain men can forget but god remembers keep that scripture there the bible says Two of the king's chamberlains, the keepers of the door, they sought to slay the king. Verse 3. The king said, What honor and dignity had been done to Mordecai for this? Listen to me. There are times in our lives where we give our best. Some of us have served people for years. Some of us raised many children. They are in privileged positions today. And by some kind of demonic thing the devil turned their minds and their hearts some of them are our own biological children there are people that walk the length and the breadth of this city and you will hear their story that they raise people there are lecturers that raise senators today raise people but it looks like no one is remembering them something is about to happen are you ready the bible says what honor and what dignity had been done for Mordecai then the king's servant that ministered to him said there is nothing that has been done i hope you know it was not only mordecai whose acts were recorded there but when god is ready to lift you he will single you out you are about to pray say after me in the name of jesus father i declare that the book of remembrance be opened over me my family my destiny and every reward you have preordained i command it to appear in my life lift your voice and begin to pray father for the things that i have done for your kingdom i gave to the work of the lord for the things that i have done for your kingdom let the book of remembrance be open please pray let the book of remembrance be open listen to me God is almighty but the way he lifts men and the way he honors men and the way he shows up for men is through the ministry of men listen carefully God is almighty but he has so chosen according to his predeterminate counsel that he will need a man to help lift men we are going to pray and provoke by the god of wonders the ministry of destiny help us listen to me there's no time but there are four dimensions of destiny help us that if they do not show up in your life believe me you will never rise not in this life i assure you i wish i had time i would have shown you from scripture but very quickly number one the first kind or type of persons destiny helpers that must show up in your life they are called divine connectors i trust that god will grant us another platform to explain them in detail divine connectors do not have what you need but they know who has it and they can connect you to that person an example was the slave girl she did not have the ability to heal but if the king did not pay at if naaman the bible says naaman in second kings 5 was the captain of the syrian army he said he was a valiant man in war but he was leprous and yet in his house there was a little slave girl who had the power to link him to the anointing that will set him free the key to receiving from destiny helpers is discernment because they will come in a fashion that is not easily acceptable you must trust god for discernment someone can be selling a newspaper in a park and that newspaper can carry the advert for your job you need to discern that this guy was a newspaper seller but there is an angel moving him to me you need discernment number two very quickly you need men of influence 
there are times that you don't need divine connectors you need the men of influence themselves the protocol of lifting is that you have to be initiated by those who are there already there are times you have the grace and the gift but you don't have a voice yet at the palace you will need someone who is already there to speak for you politicians understand this unbelievers understand this but christians do not understand this Oh, Joseph, you can be gifted, but you will remain there until someone introduces you to the king. And until the king sends for you, even though you are called of God, you will still remain in the prison. Men of influence. You're a man of God here, please pray. No matter how anointed you are, you need these kinds of people. Men of influence, economic influence, sociological influence. We live in evil times where people can get up and take advantage of your limitation. Men of influence. Number three, you need gifted people. There are times you just need to get the job done. And it takes more than sincerity to get the job done. You need gifted people gifted people gifted people from the protocol to your worship team and everyone give is a grace i'm sharing it with you so that you covet it it does not just happen these graces are like magnets they call the people to come you don't look for them you won't find them if you find them they will come with a side effect the grace purifies it knows the kind of people that it calls to you gifted people there are corporations that waste money on so many people because they are not gifted. They are loyal, but they are not gifted. The last group of destiny helpers you need are burden bearers. No matter who you are, times will come in your life where you don't just need gifted people. You don't need men of influence. You need people who can cry with you. People like Naomi was to Ruth. I mean like Ruth was to Naomi you need people who need more than your talent you need people who who want more than I'm telling you what betides a man who does not find a help and a support at your down times not everybody is self-centered not everybody is selfish there are people who genuinely love you and they will not only rise with you they will die with you you need to pray those kinds of people we're about to pray it now because you see the pandemic has almost reset everything again and you will need this group of people to lift you fast so while the divine connectors are speaking to you about speaking to people about what you carry the men of influence are using their track record and their, their credibility to stabilize your stay gifted people are there making things happen and burden bearers are there they are the intercessors they are the people who are not looking for your gifts at all they are there to protect you if these four sets of people show up in your life there is no power in existence that sustains the ability to keep you are you ready to pray so that when you call forth destiny help us that the god of wonder should show up for you first that god will make you one of such kind of people first you can't pray for something that you are not willing to give to make me a divine connector make me a person of influence a gifted person and more importantly a burden bearer and then you can now pray it are we together listen as some of you are praying this prayer can i tell you this whilst god is sending your own help god will be revealing to you what you are and to who you are god can be speaking to you and say from today whilst you are praying you become a burden bearer listen make sure that whilst we are praying you are discerning discerning ministry becomes hard without these combinations there are people who have that grace but there are blessed people all around the city but the spirit of grace has not apportioned them to someone can i tell you this truly speaking there are no greedy people the word greed is a relative word because someone who will refuse to bless you will pursue another person and say take it depends on the grace that is on your head are you ready to pray Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that I receive the ministry of destiny helpers. Lift your voice and begin to mention them. Please call them to your life. You are a worker, a member in this church. Call them in greater measures in this church. I call divine connectors. Show up in my life. I call men of influence. Appear in the name of Jesus. I call on gifted people show up in the name of jesus i call on burden bearers show up in the name of jesus 
are you praying Ali Baratos Kanabakatoshiata. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now listen. I'm about to spend the time I have left. I know that many of us have come with hunger. We are going to pray. And ask the Lord to give you an encounter within these minutes to visit you. Can I tell you this? Sincerely, I admit to you that every challenge is relative. Is relative to the grace that confronts it. An age-long captivity can melt overnight. I'm hearing a horn. Really, sincerely, sir. I'm hearing like a horn, like a shofar blowing. This is what I'm hearing in my spirit. And you see, in the Bible, every time a shofar blows, is announcing a new season. I'm, I'm telling you this. Believe what I'm saying. This is a prophetic word. I stand by the spirit of grace. And I'm telling you that a new season, a new season, the Bible says for us to minister according to the measure of grace. I'm hearing a horn. It's a new season, a season of signs, a season of wonders, a season of visibility, even by the spirit of grace. I'm about to pray. There are some of you who are trusting God for infirmities in your body. You see, I hope you don't mistake in what I'm doing for pride. This is an election of grace. It's the privilege of God's grace. Sir, would you be embarrassed if I talk to you? I'm seeing a door that has been closed for the last 10 years being opened again to you. This is what I'm seeing. A door. What do you have to do with music? I'm seeing a door. This was closed by witchcraft for over 10 years. And the Lord is saying, here, yeah, I'm opening it again. This is what I'm seeing. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Your life must change. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. I I I I celebrate the God of wonders. Mighty things are about to happen here. I I I Prophesy to yourself now. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. Hallelujah. Who is grace? Grace, come. In the name of Jesus, I shift you into a new dimension in the spirit. Are you married? Are you married? Where's your husband? At home. Where is home? in Abuja here tell your husband the month of March is a month of breakthrough for you both of you God is about I'm seeing this man cry there has been help at least there has been constraints but God himself is giving you a visitation even by the Spirit of God listen I prophesy to you I don't care what it is that has held you down I stand by the God of heaven here in the name of Jesus every obstacle that stands between you and the next level I clear it out of the way in the name of Jesus I clear it out of the way I'm hearing a name Martha Martha please help me guys volume Martha who is Martha I'm hearing a name Martha we have to be very very fast Martha this is the name that the Lord is giving me I want to pray for that person right now that every plague of darkness every plague of darkness are we together?
so we are not teaching some cunningly devised fables or some acts of the flesh no we are people who by the grace of god i assure you that if it's the god of heaven you will be surprised i'm about to pray a very serious prayer there are people today as it is there is nothing in your hand but i give you one month from today by the god that i serve honestly if god be god you will marvel and wonder at what happens a month from now you will stand on this altar in the name of jesus christ now i want to pray a prayer and i want you to bring those people out there is a grace that god wants to reveal in this meeting exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 please give it to us and then we pray exodus chapter 3 let your hearts be open please be prayerful don't be distracted help us media please read with me if you can see ready read and i will give joshua selman favor in the sight of the egyptians and the proof is that it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty i want to pray there is a grace that is coming upon people and this grace is for strange dimensions of favor god wants to shift people some of you are representing businesses and families are we together now in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare help me with the symbol please please can you just teach him let him know what to do in the name of jesus right now i declare father even as you have revealed to me i'm seeing the number 28 28 people the hand of god is coming upon them you are drinking of that grace for favor some of you is in answer to the prayers of your loved ones they prayed for a long time that god should bring them into that dimension right now in the name of jesus and at the count of three may that grace come upon you now one two three take that grace take that grace take that grace bring them out take that grace help them please please whether you are an usher or not my goodness my goodness please help them take that grace in the name of jesus we release favor we release favor we release favor open your mouth and begin to pray as they come out open your mouth begin to decree favor in the name of jesus please bring them out favor kali katos favor by the supernatural hand of god bring them out we're praying kela porando sadikata brahaska dibaria now i don't know how i'm going to pray this prayer please this is the prayer that will, i will plead with you to be your brother's keeper because i'm about to release the grace for speed oh yes sir there is a real grace for speed and when i pray that grace the power of god will come on people and some of them will begin to run that's why i'm saying you have to be your brother's keeper so that we don't make this place rowdy lift your hands father in the name of jesus i want you to bring those people out there are men and women there are destinies and families that must plunge into this grace for speed god of wonders i pray that at the count of three may that mantle and that grace come upon people are you ready now one two three take that grace take that grace speed please help them help them speed speed to your life speed to your destiny help this man please hallelujah that every planting that is not of the lord over the life and the family of anyone it must give way now lift your hands father in the name of jesus i stand by the god of heaven and i decree and declare right now at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus and as you shout that name loud inside and outside online every force of darkness capacitor tying anyone's destiny down that has found that you will not rise is about to let you go now are you ready now one two three shout jesus 
right now I command those powers be gone right now release your destinies now bring them out please release your destinies right now in the name of Jesus Christ I set on fire every altar that is not of God yokes of darkness I declare be released now please bring them out be released now by the fire of the Holy Ghost be released right now I'm seeing a, a there is a grace that is coming on women I'm seeing chains people who have been bound I stretch my hands I'm seeing the number 13 I don't know where you are but right now I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus at the count of three may that fire come upon you please bring them out one two three take that fire right now take that fire every altar of darkness tying your destiny it must let you go now it must let you go now hold mama carefully bring her out now listen you are standing you are standing for families there are some of you listen to me you are not just please don't come out at random those under the anointing just bring those under the anointing in the name of jesus christ there are families here that are under all kinds of yokes my goodness i'm telling you i'm just seeing like 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 light just coming on people i'm stretching my hands right now please help me help this guy let him know what to do huh in the name of jesus christ at the count of three there is such massive deliverance going on right now one two three take that grace right now the chains that have held you down there are people who cannot move forward You've been in Abuja for years and it looks like there are forces holding you down. I declare be released now. Be released now. Be released now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, bring them out. Be released now. In the name of Jesus. Blessing. Blessing. Who is blessing? I'm hearing the name blessing you are wearing black with a black face mask all black all black is there someone like that blessing it's time for your life to change I stretch my hands right now change in the name of Jesus Christ by the spirit of grace bring them out fire is burning in this place in the name of Jesus fire is burning in this place I set every altar. Please connect. Please connect. Be serious. I set every altar. All of you who are in front here, the spirits that oppress you at the count of three, go, 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 go. Out of their lives, out of their destinies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the mantle for the prophetic. I'm seeing the number 14. Please just give me strings. It's going to come on 14 people. I'm seeing some of you have prayed. Some of you have fasted. You have seen it in dreams and visions. The prophetic is real. I know that there are abuses and the rest. But please don't confuse that. There are people who can step into this grace. I want to stretch my hands. Father i do not know where they are across the length and the breadth of this auditorium but there are people you are preordained to be in this meeting that must drink of this wine my god i'm seeing an eagle there it goes in the name of jesus at the count of three may that grace and that mantle fall like a tornado upon your life are you ready one two three take that grace help them help them help that gentleman i activate that prophetic the eyes that see, the ears that hear, help this pastor, my goodness, in the name of Jesus, step into levels of fire, in the name of Jesus, step into levels of fire, bring them out, drink of that prophetic well, spring up all wells, in the name of Jesus, hear me, in this season, the borders are rising, 
there are women of power women of grace i'm about to release that grace where are the borders hear the word of the lord i bring a clarion call by the spirit at the count of three may that man to locate you right now one two three take that grace fire upon your life fire upon your ministry fire upon the borders fire upon the borders fire take that grace two of you this this pastor take that grace take that grace you and your wife take that grace in the name of jesus Sinas kalibari hato sena empre kete katos kene malahasa shayendes keme ne katos kabra atelas kabane katos gengera shabrende dos kembari katos. The Spirit of the Lord is saying, "I'm revealing my glory in a new dimension. Your eyes will see it. I'm revealing my glory in a new dimension. Your eyes will see it." I'm still I don't know why God is still saying to speak over women there are people you are returning back to the realm of prophetic dreams where you will see things before they happen I stretch my hands take that grace right now 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 hallelujah madam this woman with green yes lift your hands is are you husband and wife sir lift your hands both of you i'm seeing an angel pouring oil on both of you i'm stretching my hands take that grace both of you in the name of jesus the christ of god drink of this grace step into new dimensions in the spirit help them in the name of jesus you will never be the same never be the same never be the same never be the same by the spirit of the living god now hear me every door that has refused to open in the name of jesus i'm praying for you now for as long as it is a door standing before you mateus kani parahasia and it has refused to open i come by the rod of a higher priesthood and in the name of jesus i speak to that door Ephata, be open hidden tita Ephata, be open hidden tita open your mouth and begin to pray declare that door opens the door of my influence the door of grace are you praying open your mouth and begin to pray hallelujah hallelujah i decree and declare grace upon your prayer life in the name of jesus ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 says having their understanding darkened it says being alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them i pray that spiritual ignorance dries up from your life in the name of jesus i declare colossians 1 verse 9 upon your life that you'll be filled with the knowledge of his will you'll be filled with all wisdom and you'll be filled with spiritual understanding in the name of jesus christ The Bible says, and I will restore the years. Everything you have lost in time. Please believe this one. I stand again in agreement. And we declare over you and over the nations. In the name of Jesus, the grace that brings restoration. Drink of that grace. Drink of that grace. Supernatural restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for every man woman of God here present and those connecting online that you desire in your life you desire in your ministry I stand in faith and I declare that grace comes upon you now that grace comes upon you now 
that grace begins to speak over your life in the mighty name of Jesus all those in politics and government I decree and declare by the Spirit of God we separate you and we declare step into new levels of achievement in the name of Jesus I speak over captains of industry hear the word of the Lord I decree and declare that in this season where many are saying there is a casting down for you hear your prophecy let there be a rising up in the name of Jesus it was James in chapter 2 and verse 26 who declared that for a spirit without a body without a spirit is dead your business is only a body there is a spirit that must give it life I declare the spirit that powers the bodies the vessels the projects the businesses that excel in the name of Jesus Christ may that grace rest upon you Can we declare over your finances there are different levels of wealth and the prophetic dimension comes as an advantage a system of advantage in this kingdom you have your products and your services that you offer and that's wonderful you have your value that you provide but much more than that there has to be a supernatural backing that pushes you forward are we together now it says there were many widows in zarephath but to none was elijah sent in the name of jesus i stand again with the angels over this house and i declare over your finances in a very strange way for the bible declares believe the lord your god so shall you be established it says believe his prophet so shall you prosper step into strange seasons of abundance seasons of opportunity seasons of abundance in the name of jesus if there is anyone here that the spirit of death is hovering around you hovering around your family please hear this because we are we live in seasons where someone can just say headache my head my head and just fall down and die someone shout no way in the name of Jesus I speak over your life I declare that anyone here who is being appointed unto death by reason of death passes over you in the name of jesus christ you will not be a victim of kidnapping you will not be a victim of accident you will not be a victim of plane crash you will not be a victim of the wickedness of men a thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand by your right side we prophesy that none will harm you with your eyes will you see and behold the reward of the wicked may this be your heritage in the name of jesus let me pray for families here psalm 112 it says blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands he said his seed shall be mighty upon earth then he says the generation of the upright shall be blessed that wealth and riches will be in his house and yet his righteousness endures forever i declare we pray for our children may they be mighty in the name of jesus listen this spirit in africa that makes children even though grown that they have to depend on parents to still feed them in old age we stand by the grace of god every young person here who is 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 responsible and should be employed or should be engaged i declare we push you by prophecy in the name of jesus christ I pray for those who are in the music ministry in the name of Jesus I use this wonderful man of God who ministered what an amazing vessel you are in the name that is above all names I declare I use him as a point of where's the gentleman he's not here in the name of Jesus Christ may God bless you my dear one you will step into unprecedented dimensions of grace in the name of Jesus and I use him as a point of contact anyone here who is in the music ministry genuine worshiper and you've not gained the kind of visibility that allows you to be a blessing and to be rewarded in the name of jesus we tear the veil and we announce you i release a hear ye him anointing upon you in the name of jesus find visibility we multiply your influence by the spirit in the name of jesus 
let me pray a prayer that god is putting in my heart i hope you don't see it as carnal there are people here the grace for territory is not yet on you you've been in this city for a long time but it looks like you have not gotten your own place i want to shift you by prophecy standing in partnership with the man of god you should not be in this city for long in a place of good and abundance and your portion has not been given to you and they dug a well and the philistines covered it they dug another one they covered it then they dug the third one and they left them they called it rehoboth he said god has given me my own space i prophesy to someone in the name that is above all names between now and the end of this year have your own space i give you your own portion in this city in this land in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i want you to pray and knock on the door of heaven your heart is already right with god i know that but i want you to agree with god and say lord between now can you give me a reason to praise your name this year i tell you if you if you obey this instruction and pray with your heart you will be surprised what my God will do. Lift up your voice and pray. Lord, I agree with you. Shapata. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Ay, 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 ay. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Do it for your glory. Surprise my father. Surprise my mother. Surprise them. I intercede for them. May the angel of your presence reach them. Give them a miracle. Let that cancer be healed. Let that HIV be healed. Let that barrenness be broken. Let her take in. Having a child already in a womb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone shout it say after me in the name of Jesus. I decree that every force in the heavenlies programmed assigned to stop results from manifesting in my life to discourage my Christian life I challenge you by the blood of Jesus lift your voice and pray ancestral powers yokes spirits ordinances written in the heavenlies projected by witchcraft and wickedness to stop my life from glorifying God to stop results from happening in my life I challenge you I challenge you I challenge you by the blood of the eternal covenant hallelujah let's take one more prayer point i want us to release the ministry of angels listen the bible says are they not ministering spirits let me tell you hear me angels are real i see them all the time you will be foolish to believe angels are not real not everybody here seated physically in koinonia is a human being I have seen them many times as I preach. They sit down like human beings. They are not human beings. I'd like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus. See some of you are still joking. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I am an heir of salvation. Therefore, I decree and I deploy the ministry of angels to every area of my life to war warfare O 
until I become victorious. Lift your voice and pray. I release your ministry. Release my helpers to come into my destiny. Release favor. I release angels. Over Koinonia. The angels assign over Koinonia. We release you by the word of God. The angels assign over God's people. We release you. We release you. We release you. We release you. In the name of Jesus. Bring miracles. Bring signs. Bring wonders. Hallelujah. We're out of time, but let's pray. The Holy Ghost is asking me that we challenge the spirit of fear. Look at me. Listen. Let me tell you something about the spirit of fear. I tell you, fire is burning in this place. Listen. Fear is a dangerous spirit it stops you from taking god seriously when god speaks fear exposes you to the obvious limitations it's not that they are not there the obstacles are there but god's word does not explain it creates god will not tell you how by next week you will be holding a million in your hand don't be stupid and say, God, how will it happen? Who do I know? Blessed is she that believes. He said, for unto her, there shall be a performance. Fear of death. Listen. Fear of failure. Fear of not having the money to feed yourself. Do you know it's fear that make people do all kinds of foolish things? You are afraid. Before you know it, you sell your phone. Because you want 10,000 in your pocket. The 10,000 finishes, you sell your trouser. People sell all kinds of things. People have converted and have left God because of fear. In the name of Jesus, I challenge the spirit of fear over my life, over my family over my loved ones over koinonia i declare in the name of jesus you are banished from my life forever lift your voice and pray there's no fear there's no fear i refuse to fear say unto the righteous it shall be well say unto the righteous koinonia you pray tonight don't look around pray say unto the righteous it shall be well say unto the righteous it shall be well fear of marriage fear of children fear of terrorism after me in the name of Jesus father every prophecy you spoke over my life that has not happened I want you to know that I still believe you and I agree with you I must receive that testimony lift your voice and pray I wrestle with prophecy I agree I agree you said you will heal my father I still believe you said you will heal my mother I still believe you said you will prosper my business prosper my ministry I still believe lift your hands I want to pray for you
I'm a believer. I'm a believer. When you dare to believe God and understand what it takes to get the results you need, I pray for you in the name that is above all names. First and foremost, even as you have prayed, I challenge every force of witchcraft that has been released over Nigeria, released over states to frustrate believers and make it look like God's word is not working. I command that power to bow in the name of Jesus. I command that power to bow in the name of Jesus. Number two, I pray for you. The kind of speed that you have not seen from Je I ask the God that I serve to give you that speed in the name of Jesus. That he will perform his word hastily. Hastily. In the name of Jesus. Number three. I pray for you with all my heart. Every secret you have been looking at but you have never really understood you look at it all the time but you are you listen to the messages help them please but you have not gotten it i speak upon your spirit may an unction the unction that teaches men things i'm, I'm doing an impartation upon your spirit i pray for you in the name of jesus may that light shine upon your spirit May that light, that illumination shine upon your spirit. Any man on earth who is holding your answer, any physical man holding your answer, I put pressure upon their spirit. They must answer you. They must answer your parents. They must answer your loved ones. I pray for you every miracle we have received as a ministry this year whether it is in finances whether it is in increase whether it is in influence and impact I pray for you from the depth of my heart beginning from this night I don't care how short the time is I decree and I ask the Lord most high to reproduce that testimony in your life May he reproduce that testimony in your life. Anyone here, hold on please, who is sick in any part of your body, any nonsense the devil has planted, whether you call it fibroid, whether you call it menstrual pain, whether you say barrenness, impotency, whether you call it migraine, SS, AS, bad dreams, witchcraft any kind of sickness right now as i stand here in the name that is above all names may the fire of the holy ghost surge through your body and clear that devil out of your life may the fire of the holy ghost surge through help them please may the fire of the holy ghost my god I tell you, I see fire falling on people. That's what I see in the spirit. Fire. People are getting healed. May the fire of the Holy Ghost surge through your body and clear that devil right now. May the fire of the Holy Ghost, I say it again, standing upon this grace, may the fire of the Holy Ghost surge through your body and clean your blood and cleanse your life. Anyone here called SS, AS, I command that genotype change now. Any stranger you were not born with, if you were not born with it, breast lump, fibroid, ovarian cyst, any devil sitting on your body, your body must glorify God tonight. Therefore, I curse that devil. I curse that spirit. I curse that devil. I curse that spirit. 
everything that has stopped you from being productive i prophesy to your hands your hands represent they are symbolic of your productivity when the hands of samson were tied he could not do anything i pray for these hands may god teach you the mystery of profiting in the name of jesus he said i am the lord that teacheth thy hands to profit and leadest thou in the way that thou should go may god show you the mysteries may he show you in the name of jesus everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family it comes to end this night in the name of jesus pray for your spiritual life the kind of encounter that you have not had from january till now strange encounters revelations of heaven receive that grace in the name of jesus and if our god is for us then you could ever stop us and if our god is with us then and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, every wall that stands before you and the next dimension, I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho, I command every wall, go down flat go down flat financial walls go down flat career walls go down flat in the name of Jesus and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon every man that must send for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to the gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter I compel favor from them to you I compel favor from them to you in the name of Jesus There are angels that herald the influence of a man. Listen, honor is a grace. When that grace is not upon you, no matter how noble you are, you will never be honored. Honor is a grace. And when that grace is on you, only God can take it away. It says, and Jabez was more honorable than his, not more prosperous, not more favored, more honorable. Many people do not know what honor is. The fortitude for preference. There is an unction from God that fishes you out of the crowd, places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you reward you recognize that which God has invested within you listen to me there are many gifted people the eye that can bless has not seen you there are many men of God the eyes that can discern and lift you is not there let me pray for you there is a grace for honor therefore God even thy God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows I pray for you in the name of Jesus may the mantle that makes for honor territorial honor honor at a national level in the name of Jesus receive that grace now receive that grace now You will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life. When the grace for honor and favor is upon you, you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helpers. Listen, it's a mystery that cannot be explained. 
you will be suspended until they appear then you come listen it's a waste to fight battles without reward david said what shall be given to the man that will do this to goliath sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward i pray for you may the lord position your destiny help us and cause them to love you and to honor you the lord asked me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what he is still doing it is still a year of extraordinary fruitfulness i stand by the god of heaven have the faith to believe don't sit down questioning leave your mind and trust god it is within his power to make great he takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around i'm praying for you for some of you before this year is over step into a dimension of prepared blessings prepared blessings prepared parushalata I release you into a dimension of prepared blessing. Listen, believers, I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the grace that will produce results of wonders in your life, may that grace rest upon you now. Prepared blessings that take you to realms. Ten years put in one month, I release that grace upon you. Listen, these graces are not some carnal show of wealth. No, they are time redemption systems. Understand what they are. They seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. I pray for every family represented here. The sound of mourning, the sound of pain and anguish by the Spirit of the living God, let it come to an end this night. Everything that has refused to walk in your life by the power of the highest, I compel it to begin to walk now. Men you do not know, may they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. The presence of God, the weightiness, the substance of his presence that must rest upon you, especially if you are in ministry, by the power of the Holy Ghost, be a career of divine presence. In the name of Jesus, everyone here trusting God for a job, before this year runs out, may God give you a miracle job. Every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough. We call upon the God of the heavens. In the name of Jesus, let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace. Hear me. Whoever ignores you will pay for it. Hear me. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. Let me say it again. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. I pray for every 
ministry here under the sound of my voice the grace and the wings of the spirit that will take you to dimensions untold may that grace rest upon you I pray for every man and every woman of God here, the errands and the horse that will hold your hands, loyal men indeed, may God give them to you. Anyone here who the testimony over your life is Ichabod, I declare by the Spirit of God, a restoration happens now. shall not be afraid of the snare of the fowler nor the noisome pestilence nor the destruction that wasted in noonday says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side it says none shall hurt you but with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked I pray for you as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler may you escape from every evil May you escape from every trap. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak over your life. Go from glory to glory. You face speak over your prayer life, over your word study life. Whatever has stolen your joy, whatever has stolen your fire, whatever has stolen your passion, whatever has stolen your focus, in the name of Jesus, by fire, let it be restored tonight. May the gifts of the Holy Ghost operate freely in your life. May you be a wonder first to yourself. And then may you be a wonder to everyone around you. In the name of Jesus. Anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death. To see to it that you will not finish this year well. To see to it that it will not be well with you and your family. Gehazi came and met the woman and said it's all well it's all well with your household I pray for you because the Bible says to say to the righteous it shall be well therefore I speak over you it is well I declare over you all is well in the name of Jesus Christ doors of delay I command you be open in the name of Jesus Delay, be gone. Delay, be gone. Delay, delay in marriage. Delay in jobs. I cause it to its root. I release you in the name of Jesus. Every academic bondage. Every academic bondage. Kateka leko sopa. Repete lato sabadi adaka. In the name of Jesus. Be free. Be free. Be free. Mental blockage. Be free from it. Academic bondage, I set you free. This is the best exam you would have ever written in your institutions of learning. I prophesy it by the power of the highest. I call this session for you a season of sevenfold restoration sevenfold restoration sevenfold sevenfold not one fold not two fold i speak it where you have been victimized any student here who has been victimized right now whether it is project or service year or whatever, I change it in the realm of the spirit. Any one of your loved ones that has no job, I command.
gave to supernatural joy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every womb called Barry. I don't care whether the womb has been removed or not. Right now. In nine months time. You will celebrate miracle children. Be open. Every barren womb. Be open. Hallelujah. Every plague of death over your life or your family members. Make sure you are lifting your hands. Oh. Every plague of death by the blood that speaketh better things. Because I see miscarriages that the devil wants to bring to many families. I see miscarriage of children. Every plague of death I command it to pass over you forever. In the name of Jesus. He said, because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with a type of oil called the oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. The anointing that brings you above. I call you in the realm of the spirit. Rise up in the name of Jesus. Rise up a new level of prosperity, a new level of lifting, a new level of wisdom. And Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and with men. As surely as the Lord God of Israel lives, let a cloak of favor hit you where you are. Favor! 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 Every terminal disease in this place, HIV, cancer, in the name of Jesus, we terminate it once and for all. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. SS, AS, we change your genotype in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus. Every demonic oppression that is responsible for where you are and where your family is tonight. It is time for the new anointing. Guard up your loins and be ready. Every yoke of bondage surely must be broken i command every captivity over your family by the shed blood of jesus christ captivity ends in the name of jesus in the name of jesus I'm standing in the spirit before a gate and the Lord is telling me let God's people walk to it and move forward in their life I command you by the spirit and according to the vision of the Lord to me move forward go forward no more stagnation in ministry enter your place of anointing enter your place of rest enter it I place you inside it I take you into the mantle of your life the prophetic oil of your life I release it move forward go forward 
in the name of Jesus Christ and I speak to you every Egyptian you see today you are the one who knows the Egyptian so lift your hands with faith in your spirit everything called an Egyptian as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives once and for all bye bye to them forever bye bye to them forever in your family bye bye to them bye bye to them I release signs wonders I release miracles take it take it take it take it from the depth of my heart according to the order of grace take your miracle take your miracle take your miracle everything your hand touches from today in the name that is above all names I command it to multiply this is what I'm demonstrating to you what I saw in the spirit that God is connecting you to the people who will take you to the next level of your life may the Lord take you where your gift will be needed may the Lord take you where your gift I command demand upon your oil demand prophetic demand I command every uncompleted family project every uncompleted family project the Lord shows me the number 21 in the realm of the spirit and I pray that between now and the next 21 days I command angels of help I release it to your families receive it receive it help help is coming Zion's help the helper of Zion move across families move across families I tell you as surely as the Lord lives between today and the next 21 days you will see fearful testimonies by the hand of God hallelujah lift your hands I impart spiritual gift upon you at the count of seven let fresh fire fall upon everybody every one two three my God do it I see angels four five six there it is come on take it take it take it take it take it outside take it take it take it in the name of Jesus take it take it take it fire the prophetic the apostolic the evangelistic teaching mantles pastoral graces leadership entrepreneurship I fire it into your spirit everywhere you have been deserted so that no man goes through you I call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations 
in the name of the Lord Jesus doors be open breakthrough breakthrough many of you don't know what breakthrough is you just receive it breakthrough I release it breakthrough I release it breakthrough I release it breakthrough an angel stands in this row take it breakthrough take it take it take it take it right to the back take it take it Say in the name of Jesus. Say it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ that any spirit entity finding expression in my mind, in my body, around my life hear the word of the Lord I cast you out of my life now lift your voice and pray pray fire is falling pray fire is falling I cast every spirit I cast every devil I cast every spirit by the power of the Holy Ghost my mind my body around my life around koinonia in the name of Jesus around my family if you are married also pray for your family pray for your children I cast every devil healing fibroid now the Lord is ministering to me a mighty deliverance is going to happen now it's starting with ladies any spirit entity that comes in the form of a man and attempts to oppress you in the night right now in the name of Jesus Christ let the fire from heaven 
fall right now and command i command that spirit to go help them right now any spirit entity using the face of anyone to molest you and close doors inside outside i command deliverance now i command deliverance now let the daughters of jacob possess their possession in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i'm hearing in my spirit uncontrolled anger it's a spirit it's leaving people right now uncontrolled anger is a it's an unusual anger rage it comes you can see anything and you can do anything i'm seeing fire in the name of jesus anyone who is a victim of this operation right now in the name of jesus i bring you deliverance I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uncontrolled anger. I come against it now. Please help her. I'm seeing a vision. And the Lord is asking me to pray on that case. In this vision, I'm seeing someone dream. That's what I'm seeing now. And in that dream, you keep seeing yourself going back either to your old house or to a primary school or writing an exam you are finished it's a strong spirit of delay i stand by this apostolic and prophetic grace help your wife right now in the name of jesus at the count of three the spirit of delay hear the word of the lord let god's people go now one two three i command that spirit go now Go now! Please help them. Go now! This one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind, no devil should take you back again. I command that spirit, go now! I cast that spirit now! There is anyone you know whether you are here or anyone you know that for some reason has not been able to take in in the name of barrenness whether you are here or you are standing for them i want you to agree i want to pray let's see the devil that will stop them from taking it in the name of jesus anyone you know and you are standing for that the devil i don't care what the medical report is that the devil has come to make sure that they will not celebrate children in the name that is above all names we release children from heaven in the name of jesus we release children from heaven we open every barren womb in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the lord is showing me a group of people you see you have dreams frequently and in the dreams you see yourself receiving things and it's something that in the physical you are hoping to receive but the moment you see it in that dream it will never happen again it's an irony it's like the opposite of what you see in dreams is what happens the lord is asking me to deliver those people now please help her help her just stand near your wife so that she doesn't have to fall right now in the name of jesus in the name that is above all it I decree and declare from the realm of the spirit let there be deliverance for you now let there be deliverance for you now If 
you have seen this pattern I'm about to describe in your family, then I want you to listen carefully. It's always that the future is worse than the past. You never have a situation where you leave certain things and go higher and higher. You look at all your loved ones. They once worked. They once married. They once had children. They once had a house. You are in a situation where the future is never brighter than the past. It's always once upon a time this was happening. I need to crush that devil from your life. Please help them. Once upon a time I was rich. Once upon a time I was married. Once upon a time I was on fire for God. Once upon a time I was a pastor. I had a church. No. The path of the just is as a shining light that shineth ever brighter unto the perfect day. When your tomorrow becomes worse than your yesterday, there is a spirit reversing the equation. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. In the name that is above all names, I declare that any force from hell that is responsible for aborting a glorious tomorrow to take the events of the past and still bring it into your tomorrow, right now at the count of three, I declare that spirit must let you go. One, two, three, let them go now. Let them go now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. My spirit is heavy. Circles of repeated sicknesses. I want to pray now. It's not a normal thing. Whether it is hepatitis, whether it is a blood related disease, or whether it is every month malaria, every month malaria, every month typhoid, you treat it, it still comes back. Every month headache, every month whatever it is. Hold on please. The Lord is showing me something. I just saw like a pile of money and then I saw it disappear. And the Lord said there are people, money physically disappears, like lives their life. I'm not saying you waste it. You can keep 10,000 and come back and find 7,000 and nobody was in that house. It's not just money, items. You can wash clothes and hang it. You, you didn't steal it. You will come back, you will not find it. Listen. Well, this is a, a deliverance series. Just allow me to help that lady. I'm seeing a lady in a vision now. You were alone. You washed your underwear in the night. By the next day, you didn't find two of them again. It's gone. From that day, something happened in your life in a strange way. Severe menstrual pain is one of the things you started having. Uncontrollable pain. In the name of Jesus. Everything the devil has taken from anyone, I decree and declare by the anointing of the Spirit, let there be restoration now. Let there be restoration now. Let there be restoration now. The Lord is showing me someone. Every time you see someone die in the dream, a few weeks later it will happen physically. Now you have seen your loved ones. You saw them last week. You saw like a, somebody was announcing to you that so I don't know if it's your mother or something that died. If we don't pray for you, it's going to happen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? I prophesy right now upon your life. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I command that death to pass over your family. I command that death to pass over your family.
just just let me just talk about two issues i'm struggling to share what god is showing me now this has to do with a group of ladies listen there is a lady here every time you see yourself in a dream you are a man not a woman that's why i'm struggling to share what i'm saying physically you are a lady but every time you see yourself in a dream it's like you are carrying the form of a man this thing has affected you even in the area of relationship if a guy looks at you and says i love you it's like it's like um it's, it's like you feel as if you are gay it's, it's like something has numbed the capacity to receive love as a lady because of that encounter it's a demonic thing that i have to pray for you for a very demonic thing i'm seeing like smoke this is strange and then it is it's just like moving around in the air wherever those groups of people are i don't believe it's just one person it's an operation of darkness in the name of jesus i stretch my hands right now and i decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost be free from that demonic siege now be free from that demonic siege now ah, hold on there is a lady a physical person appeared to you not a dream i'm not talking of your dreaming physically physical like you are seeing me like this appeared to you and was having a conversation with you appeared to you and was having a conversation with you and from that conversation your life was never the same again it looked like it was a woman that was appearing and talking to you like revealing to you some secrets that had to do with the past and from that day you started hearing voices even in the afternoon you can sit down and hear like people are discussing i need to pray for you if i don't pray for you very soon they will admit you in the hospital because they'll say you are talking and behaving like somebody who has a psychosomatic condition wherever that person is in the name of jesus i may not call you out because of time but i declare right now by the anointing of the holy spirit that devil that spirit in the name of jesus be free from it now if you know in this place that you find out that certain sicknesses never leave you they keep repeating cycles just place your hand on your chest i'm about to pray it doesn't matter what part of your body and what sickness you just place your hand on your chest i'm going to pray someone will shout under the anointing when that happens the anointing for this healing is not a sickness it's a pattern that god is breaking now the moment that shout happens i will rebuke that the power of god is looking for one person there's somebody that will shout that's the shout right now in the name of jesus by the anointing of the holy spirit every pattern of reoccurring infirmity reoccurring sickness whether it's a blood related disease every pattern i say it again of reoccurring sickness reoccurring disease right now by the power of the holy ghost i command the spirit responsible lose your hold now Lose your hold now. Lose your hold now. Lose your hold now. Lose your hold now. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, I, my God, I'm seeing a sword right now i declare 
every hold of darkness even in this series help them jesus look at what is happening there in the name of jesus you know my voice i was once your victim but tonight has come as one who has been given the keys of david by the message of god i declare right now in the name of jesus everyone here under the sound of my voice who is under any kind of siege right now be free in the name of jesus 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 every family under any kind of siege that is mocking your christian integrity and making God's word look like a lie. Shabaka toka sata. Embre ketoka shabala kata. Reke toka tosh. Shabas kata shata. Rakato shabariata kata. In the name of Jesus. Fire. I'm seeing fire. That's what I'm seeing from heaven. Shaboko tos kabariata kata. Manta koto shagete gete. Embre kete loko shabarika. I'm praying for you in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, I cause the plague of witchcraft. I cause the plague of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus. Every voice speaking against everyone's destiny. The Bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. The Bible says he nailed it to the cross. I declare and I decree by the substitutionary sacrifice of the eternal begotten of the Father. I cause every power that is not of God in the name of Jesus Christ. I reverse any ordinance in the spirit over every individual over every family I command a reversal now in the name of Jesus and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession let me pray for you everything that must enter your hand the open doors that the blood of Christ release. Help them, please. Everything you have seen in the realm of the spirit, God has shown you dreams that you are a possessor. God has shown you dreams. Your children, your breakthrough, your lifting, your speed, your job, your marriage. In the name of Jesus, I release it to your hands now. Become a possessor. I release it to your hands now. Become a possessor. And I pray for you. The Bible says when you catch a thief, he won't just restore what he stole because he has wasted your time by stealing. Can I speak restoration? Let me tell you. There are many of us you have lost things. Some you have lost time. Masha Makata. Lekotos Kabata. Joshua said, Son, go back. Move. Go back. I prophesy to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I prophesy as one sent. In the name that is above all names. Everything the devil took away from you. I command a restoration now. I command a restoration now. Whatever you have lost in time, I speak to you. Between today and Friday coming, I pray that someone will have the faith to believe this prayer. May my God, the God of Jeshurun, arise and surprise you. Arise and surprise you. We call him Ebenezer, the helper of Israel. I declare, oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the next two minutes, I'd like you to receive things in the spirit. 
the things that the Bible said. Please don't take casual this opportunity. We are operating under an anointing. I like you to declare. Receive by faith in the name of Jesus. Receive mantles, receive anointings, receive open doors, receive favors, receive ble blessings, receive graces in the name of Jesus. Receive ease. Ask that you may receive, that your joy may be fulfilled. Parado hallelujah i like you to take this remaining two minutes seriously you are going to make decrees you are not talking to god you are talking to your destiny you are talking to your life are you ready to pray open your mouth and make decrees lift up your heads oh ye gates Lift up your heads. I command close doors. Be open. In the name of Jesus. I hold the keys of David. And I command the doors open. That no man will shock. I decree and declare. My path is as a shining light. It shines brighter. It shines brighter unto the perfect day I decree and declare I shall not die I leave I choose life I choose life I reject death not by accident not by the soul God is a with favor like a shield God is a with favor like a shield in the name of Jesus I grow from glory to glory I grow from power to power I grow from grace to grace from anointing to anointing from wisdom to wisdom koinonia is like a shining light that grows brighter and brighter unto the perfect day the Lord gives the word from this place and great be the company of them that publish it. Bless your children. Bless your wife. Bless your husband. Bless your home. Bless your finances. Bless your spiritual life. We declare over Zambia, we declare over Kaduna, we declare over Nigeria in the name of Jesus, rising from glory to glory. Everything I do prospers in the name of Jesus. No failure in my life. So no failure in me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Turn again the captivity of Zion like the streams of the Negev. Shalabarato Zagabarato Zedekas and Tekele Barato Sabaroto Zubahasa and Telegrando Sadabaru Sedias Krabagabaruda Sigeparudisias and Glato Sabrada Baratusiatash in the name of Jesus. 
turn situations around we declare by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah in the name of jesus agree with me in the name of jesus Amen. and the apostle says lord behold their threatenings and we pray that you stretch forth your hands and you grant that miracle signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son Amen. he said behold their threatenings respond to their threatenings by stretching forth your hands and that miracles and signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son father we decree and declare these are issues that have threatened the liberty of the saints they have robbed you of glory and lord we bring them under judgment in the name of jesus lord i stand in agreement with every grace within this house and we decree and prophesy that these egyptians you see today in the name of jesus you see them no more forever these egyptians you see they in the name of jesus you see them no more forever my bible says when the lord turn again the captivity of zion he said we were like them that dream and our mouths were filled with laughter and they said among the hidden the lord had done great things for us he says the lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad then he says turn again our captivity like the streams of the south we decree and declare that everything that represents captivity here let it be turned like the streams of the south The Bible says, have you heard of this proverb before that a nation be born in one day? But then it says, as soon as Zion travails, it says she shall put forth her son. I declare speed to every request here. <laughs> Prophet Joel speaking by the spirit said, and I will restore the years. Let me tell you this real dominion is dominion over time. No matter what you dominate, if you do not dominate time, you are not walking in dominion. And I will restore the years. Many of us, we've wasted time, we've wasted opportunities. In the name of Jesus, let there be restoration. <laughs> Hallelujah. When no man arises to see you important enough for them to invest their time, their credibility, their reputation, their resources to honor the dealings of God in your life. Hear me. The diagnosis is that you do not sustain favor. It's not yet at work in your life. One more time I pray in the name of Jesus. The favor that will move you and shift you to strange dimensions of grace. May it rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus, I declare the wisdom that comes from above, the wisdom, the hidden wisdom of God that was ordained for the glory of the saints. May that dimension of wisdom be made manifest in your life from tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Bible says, because thou hast loved righteousness, and hated wickedness it says therefore even god thy god hath anointed you with an oil called the oil of gladness and it says that oil sets you above your fellows the grace that distinguishes you in the name of jesus may that grace rest upon you <laughs> hallelujah the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon not god the king a king can send for you and bring you out of your situation listen listen to me the king sent for joseph not god there are men who can help men all blessings come from god through men to men i declare the man that is ordained of God to hold your hands, your ministry, your business in this season and to see to it that you rise. In the name of Jesus, enjoy their ministry. <laughs> Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I pray for every dead vision, every dead dream, that which has been locked up in your spirit, man, but has refused to find expression. I give it life right now in the name of Jesus. Can I pray for your family? It says, as for me and my house, when you serve the Lord alone, you are not free. It must be you and your house. I pray for your family members. May the angel of his presence go to every family and see to it that it becomes a reflection of the glory of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Acts chapter 12. The Bible says, on account of the gospel, Peter was caught after james was beheaded and he was chained and there were guards that protected him but the church prayed earnestly the bible says and then it says that the angel of the lord came into the prison cell and the chains fell off on their own and he led peter out through three gates the first gate opened him up and then the second gate opened him up and then the bible says he came to a gate called the iron gate and when that gate opened the next thing he saw was the city there are gates that must open for you to step into your place of influence watch this it was not the first gate it was not the second gate the iron gate opened and your business found visibility the iron gate open it says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder the gates that must be open for your influence your business your ministry to find expression i speak to it a father be open be open be open be open In the name of Jesus hear me I prophesy to you whoever fights you goes down instantly listen the Bible says he suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying that means this is the basis touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm i say it again whoever fights you goes down instantly everyone here under the sound of my voice due for promotion i stand by the god of heaven and i shift you to the next level And everyone trusting God for a job in the parable that Jesus gave they said why sittest thou idle he said no man employ us immediately they got a job I declare to you by the spirit between now and the next three months like the ark of God in the house of Obed Edom receive miracle testimonies <laughs> hallelujah let me speak to everything dead in your life he came and met the girl 12 years old dead and he said no she only sleepeth and the people laughed and he drove them out and then he held her by the hands and said talita kumi little girl i say unto you arise i speak to everything that seems dead in the name of jesus by the spirit that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus come back to life now hallelujah the bible says remember not the former things nor consider the things of old it says for behold i do a new thing i pray for you everything that does not represent the workings of god in your life in the name of jesus i declare that it fades with your yesterday And I open you up to a new season of supernatural manifestation. I prophesy to everyone who is trusting God for direction for the next level of his life, be it marriage, be it whatever. You are at a crossroad and you need the voice of God.
may you hear the voice of the Lord in the name of Jesus I prophesy clarity in the name of Jesus I prophesy everyone who is already moving the wrong direction either as a result of wrong advices or wrong perceptions about the path of both spiritual and physical progress in the name of Jesus may the Lord redirect your steps now may the Lord redirect your steps now may the Lord redirect your steps now anyone about to leave the geography of your anointing as a result of wrong counsel or the quest for greener pastures the bible says there is a way that seemed right you must be at the geography of your grace to drive and isaac sowed not everywhere in that land in the name that is above all names may you hear the voice of his majesty as you sleep tonight may you hear the voice of his majesty i pray for every board here who is experiencing stagnation you are marking time and instead of you to make progress you are not moving by extension to every family in the name that is above all names the lord told moses why are you crying to me tell the people to move forward i prophesy over your destiny move forward now move forward now move forward now make progress now make progress now I prophesy over those trusting God to settle down maritally. Manta kakaboko to paladapa. Mambre to skusete bele. Every power of darkness tying down your marital destiny. In the name of Jesus, that embargo is lifted now. By the blood of Jesus, that embargo is lifted now. Sisters, I open your marital doors now. In the name of Jesus. No more shall this proverb be used in your life. May the Lord change your story. Hallelujah. Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God even thy god has anointed you with an oil of gladness and that oil sets you above your fellows in the name of jesus the anointing that distinguishes you man so from today everywhere you go be distinguished now help them please so that they don't be, be distinguished now be distinguished now no more will you be common no more will you be like the rest the hand of god is upon you no more will you be common i prophesy from the depths of my heart let an anointing that distinguishes you rest upon you now all those trusting god for jobs let me, there's nothing as joblessness the bible says he saw them idle and he said why standest ye idle and they say no man employ us he told them go to the vine when god speaks there must be job in the name of the lord jesus wherever your job is i don't care what the limiting factors are there is a superior advantage because you are in christ therefore i invoke man tato sotobala by the ministry of destiny help us wherever you need to be called wherever your cv is i provoke a miracle job now 
Now! 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 Hallelujah. I pray for everyone called barren in this place. Anyone called barren in this place. I declare to you according to the word of the Lord. That according to the time of life. May you return with your miracle child. May you return with your miracle child. I speak it. I establish it in the spirit. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18. It says, Son of man, what seest thou? And he said, Four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Israel, against Jerusalem, and against Judah. So that no man will lift up his head. He said, But I have sent carpet in the name that is above all names the lord told me he will bring breakthrough i want to prophesy it now now whatever has limited you whatever has limited your family right now in the name that is above all names i come with the rod of a higher priesthood and i command every limitation be broken now limitations be broken now limitations i sense the anointing of the holy ghost limitations be broken now be broken now be broken now let the power of god break every limitation now hallelujah He told Saul, he said, as you return, you will see three men holding bread, but two of them will give it to you. Does that mean they didn't want the bread for themselves? In the name that is above all names. The favor of God that can end the struggles in a man's life. Please believe the prayer I'm praying for you. Please believe it. It's not by power. There is a realm of ease that comes by the favor of God. Therefore, in the name that is above all names, I prophesy, receive favor. Favor. Let the Esther anointing come upon you now. Favor with men. Favor with God. Favor with kings. Favor with destiny help us in the name of Jesus. Every wine presser and baker that needs to speak to the king on your behalf in the name that is above all names, we provoke their ministry now. We provoke their ministry now. We provoke their ministry now. hallelujah whatever you have been trying to do and you don't you don't seem to make progress you keep going around circles of the same thing in the name that is above all names everything you have tried and failed go and do it again this time with the anointing in the name of jesus everything you have tried to do and you failed i provoke an anointing upon your life and with this anointing go back and do it again he said master we have toiled all night but he said nevertheless at thy word i bring the word of the lord to your life now what did not work before let it begin to work now hallelujah I pray for every family going through pain and suffering and limitation and bondage every family represented here he said as for me and my house 
not as for me alone as for me and my house hallelujah in the name of jesus may the fire of god may the fire of the holy ghost bring advancement in every family represented here i command every family make progress move forward make progress move forward move forward hallelujah i speak over everyone here and every family anyone marked for death anyone marked for death oh earth i speak hear the word of the lord we forbid the earth from taking the body of anyone here you remain immortal until your assignment is complete you do not live by the sword therefore you will not die by the sword in the name of jesus you are separated from the wickedness and the harassment of terrorism you are separated from the pestilence and the plagues that cause men to be afraid in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ and for many who are students here mando kasike te pakadata rakato bosku prendiki jabalal in the name of jesus every yoke of academic bondage in the name that is above all names i command be free from it now 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 therefore i release upon you the spirit of excellence receive the spirit of excellence on common speed academic exploits in the name of jesus hallelujah for every ministry every business everything that is dead and grounded in the name that is above all names like the dry bones in the valley of ezekiel i command life to it now i command life now i command life now in the name of the lord jesus christ i command life now hallelujah everyone in ministry in this place Kabo I pray for you let the doors of opportunity be open up to you you were not designed to market yourself the Bible said let her walk speak for her at the gates I command everything stopping your walk from speaking for you let there be an anointing that announces you in the name of Jesus Christ every struggle in any area of ministry we call it to end now in the name of jesus and anyone who is in ministry and you are confused you really don't know where you stand you don't know the spiritual paradigm you should be representing in the name that is above all names let there be clarity absolute clarity in the name of jesus now lift up your hands i want to pray for your finances in the name that is above all names first and foremost i cause the spirit of greed that stops you from engaging the principles that will bring true wealth and abundance i command the giving grace to come upon you in the name of jesus i cause the spirit of greed let it be far from your life in the name of jesus grace for you to be a faithful tither grace for you to be a faithful giver grace for you to be a kingdom investor may god give you wisdom may god give you favor may god bless the works of your hands therefore i release a supernatural anointing for you to prosper receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus god gives you wisdom 
God gives you ideas in the name of Jesus hallelujah everyone here who is trusting God and is saying Lord restore everyone here who had a better yesterday that is saying Lord if there was a way I can turn the hands of time I prophesy to you there is a God that can turn the hands of time and cause men to experience restoration therefore in the name that is above all names we bring back into your life every opportunity that was once lost in the name of Jesus opportunity for favor receive it opportunity for healthy connections every opportunity in your life that has been wasted by the favor and the mercy of God we call back that opportunity to return in the name of Jesus Christ we call it to return in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah whatever has made you cry in the name that is above all names whatever has brought tears out of your eyes because you were in a state where nothing and no one could help you in the name that is above all names may my god arise for you and that everyone who has laughed at you and said where is their god in the name that is above all names that god will arise for you my god will arise for you my god will arise for you father in the name of jesus christ we pray right now there are thousands of people miracles will be happening as i'm praying some of you is happening to your members at home father miracles will break out right now at the count of three i just felt the anointing on me one two prayer requests are being answered supernaturally job 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 a job is coming i see it. marriage is coming i see it admission admission jam jam request Wayek. someone wants to get married before december i see it financial breakthrough cancer for your mother cancer for your mother salvation of your family members mighty salvation some of them are in the beer parlor the angel of the lord is going after them father you have made this place an altar of praise where you turn every weeping into mourning this is no pretense oh god i speak right now let I every prayer I request so coming on my head and for those streaming online i change it to be testimonies now everybody stand. in the name of jesus please everybody stand i speak to you i speak to you prayer request believe in the lord and that and which is established will share the word believe of god. his prophets become testimonies and, shall and be delivered for god's people in the name of jesus please lift your hands everybody hallelujah give god thanks it is done hallelujah please as i speak I want you to believe it. I want you to receive it. 
while I prayed the Lord told me if it does not happen it's because you did not speak it things will change right now as I speak the angels of the Lord will begin to move to the areas that I'm speaking all I need you to do is to shout a believing amen when you need to hallelujah every terminal disease represented in the life of anybody here or any family by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now it leaves your life and your family forever receive it Infirmities are going. Infirmities are going. 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 Cancer go. Cancer go. HIV die. HIV die. SS change to AA. SS change to AA. AS change to AA. Every blood disease, go, go, go. Every blood disease, go now. Go now. Migraine headache, go now. Go now. Fibroid, go now. Go now. Peptic ulcer, be gone right now. Be gone right now. HIV, one and two, in any body or family. I command you, die now. Every infection in ladies and guys right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost be healed now every eye problem be gone now deafness in the ears go now any of your family members who is bedridden whether for stroke i'm seeing stroke and partial paralysis right now in the name of jesus i command them to arise from that bed every plague of death over any family he said and when i see the blood I will pass i pray any devil that has said has said your family members will not see i cause that devil in the name of jesus hallelujah any kind of delay in this place marital delay or any kind of delay at the count of three yokes and causes of delay because one two three go 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 hallelujah Hallelujah. Hear me. Hear me. Any altar of darkness, hear me. I don't care where it's coming from. That is speaking against your life 
or the well-being of your family right now that altar wherever it is it will catch fire now catch fire now it will catch fire now shake it, it, it. catch fire catch fire now every altar shake it, it. every altar catch fire catch fire now every altar against any family catch fire now hallelujah listen whoever has been marked for disfavor that they say things cannot work for you or your family members i remove that embargo of disfavor now 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 hallelujah hear me whatever the devil has stolen from your family whatever the devil has stolen in your life i stand as a servant of god this one is going to hit many people there are many families that need restoration i will shove restore at the count of three we're hurrying up we're out of time father let the wind and the angel of restoration Move across this place. One, two, three. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I command restoration. I command restoration. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Restore. Restore. hallelujah every yoke of academic failure whether wayek whether jam some of you have not been able to enter the institution right now i see fire there are many of you it's an embargo of darkness you will feel like something jumping out of your head right now i command yokes of academic failure be lifted now be lifted now be lifted now second of the be lifted now be lifted now in the name of jesus hallelujah hear me some of you have struggled hear me some of you are christians but you have struggled with habits masturbation pornography it's not like you are bad you have been trying and trying to stop it's eating your life whether for you or for your loved ones right now i pray that embargo of darkness sin shall not have dominion and i pray whatever spirit that sponsors that kind of life leaves you now 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 anyone here looking for a job or your family members they've tried they've applied everywhere my bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the south nor the west i pray right now let an anointing that will cause your destiny help us and that of your family members to locate you may that anointing hit you now take it take it i command miracle jobs miracle jobs miracle jobs in the name of jesus those of us who are in business or your family members are in business i pray right now in the name that is above all names the bible says 
it shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water which yield its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither whatever it doeth prospers i pray right now i command every business here grow in the name of jesus grow in the name of jesus expand in the name of jesus increase in the name of jesus hallelujah now hear me whatever trouble is in your family some of you your families are at the brink of divorce some of you your father is not taking care of you i don't care family problems god is visiting them now every family problem because god marked this miracle service for families every problem satan is hiding behind the corner and joining the heads of people at the count of three be released one two three families be free families be released i command peace i command prosperity i command love every foul spirit responsible for the situation in families be lifted now in the name of jesus those who have been destined to help you and take you to the next level of your life right now wherever they are destiny help us i call you into the life of god's people wine pressers and bakers show forth come forth And he went to the tomb of Lazarus and Lazarus was dead four days and he called him forth right now whatever is dead in your life and your family I stand under this unction of God and I pray whatever is dead I command it right now let that which is dead hear the voice of the Lord come forth now come forth now Whatever is dead, come forth now. Hallelujah. I release breakthrough into your life. Receive it. All kinds of breakthroughs. All kinds of breakthroughs. You are well favored. I pray for your spiritual life. Some of you, your spiritual lives are zero no word life no prayer life tonight let a fire that not even you can quench fire prayer fire word fire take it take it receive it in the name of jesus a hunger for the things of the spirit take it take it take it a hunger to study the word to be obedient receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah hear me the Bible says because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness and the Bible says that oil puts you above your fellows I pray for you wherever you go from today let there be an anointing you cannot explain that will distinguish you let it distinguish you out of the crowd let it distinguish you receive it in the name of Jesus any member of your family that is not born again I pray by the permission of the spirit of god let the angels of god look for them and bring them into the faith now 
no matter how hardened they are, we call them born again now. We establish it. Every power that is not of God must let you and your family go tonight. Hallelujah. Father, visit your people. 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 Now hear me. At the count of three. Mm. So I see that sword again. I see that sword. Bring them out. I see that sword of the spirit. At the count of three, hear me. Inside and outside, there will be a convocation of the power of God. And every yoke of darkness must give way right now. Every spell and every enchantment. Man te la katosota is a blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance. Lift your hands at the count of three. I like us to shout that name that is above every other name. I invoke the power of the kingdom I represent and I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus that everyone and every family under any spell bring them out ushers every spell of darkness in the name that is above all names i speak with an apostolic voice from the realm of the spirit in the name of jesus that every power every witchcraft that has kept god's people down you must go now at the count of three shout that name one Two, get ready now. Koprotokoto. Three, kopreskete. Now, now, I command those powers. I command powers inside and outside in the overflow. Right now, right now, makopokotos. Embrekete. Sotoprosketa. In the name of Jesus, I command judgment. Judgment. Every altar, every yoke, outside, there are angels moving outside, there are angels with mighty swords outside. Makata press, suppose the case, no power that ties your destiny will remain tonight. Embrekete, Soto Kota, Mante Brakata, Orekete Brekete, Hallelujah. I see the angels of the Lord moving outside, all those in the overflow right to the second overflow at the back lift your hands lift your hands everybody outside in the name of jesus i want those outside to shout that name jesus and there are people i see chains chains around people at the count of three those outside the holy ghost is going to visit families there is fire that will fall outside are you ready now those outside one two three Rekete 
I see a pruning fork outside. I see a pruning fork outside. Lord, let no family, let no individual stand. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. <laughs> I'm hearing in my spirit the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom the Lord is asking me to count four one two three four take it now let it be Lord straight wisdom and see mantles falling mantles falling strange wisdom coming from heaven strange wisdom Coming from heaven, receive it right now. Supernatural wisdom, supernatural wisdom, supernatural wisdom. Hallelujah! The Lord is showing me somebody who used to have dreams. And everything you see will come to pass but it stopped right now I'm seeing a grace for restoration coming upon you right now in the name of Jesus it's not a general prophecy there are exact people that this is happening to a restoration a restoration a restoration a restoration a restoration Hallelujah. There is a grace. I feel like praying for students. There is a grace for academic excellence. Listen, it doesn't just happen. Believe me. It's not just about what you learn. There is a grace. There is a, an exact grace for this. Lord, I pray right now in the name that is above all names. I stretch my hands to your people. As many, oh God, as will please you. Let this baptism of this unction for extraordinary understanding, let it come upon them right now. At the count of three, receive it now. One, two, three. Take it now. Please help them. Receive that grace right now. It's coming upon you. Extraordinary intelligence. Capacity to assimilate. Capacity to understand. Capacity to understand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That fair lady that shared her testimony, lift your hands. I see an angel pouring something like fire on your head. Father, in the name of Jesus, let us step into a level of extraordinary intelligence. I don't know you, but I release that grace upon you. From today, you a strange dimension of grace and intelligence. In the name of Jesus, receive it right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Receive it right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. There is a grace for entrepreneurship, creativity, witty inventions. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm seeing at least 43 people. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Let it come on them, oh God. Believe it, let it come on them, oh God. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands now. 43. I'm seeing a number 43. Strange ideas coming on your spirit now. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Receive it right now. I want to pray for those in ministry. There is always an unction for the next dimension. 
I don't know where you are, but you're going to begin to feel fire from your feet rising upwards. That's the instruction God is giving me. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I'm praying right now. Fresh fire, fresh mantle. Let it begin to arise now. You are in ministry in this place. Begin to receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, receive it right now. Those in ministry, help them. Separo dosso koto baria, lekete koto so preska la bariata. Zabra te so so preso koto. Strange fire. I see strange fire rising from the feet, rise on top from the feet, rise on top from the feet. Please help them. In the name of Jesus, can you carry the child so that he doesn't? In the name of Jesus, strange fire, revival fire, supernatural unction, supernatural unction, supernatural unction, supernatural unction. Hallelujah. The Lord is ministering to me about a group of people here that he wants to bring into intimacy with him there is a dimension of intimacy it will surprise you you will start finding out that you are going alone to go and sit in a place the holy spirit wants to reintroduce himself to certain people lord where are they where are they find them find them tonight find rest in them where are these men and women where are these men and women that you want to introduce yourself to? Beyond church. Beyond church. Beyond church. Hallelujah. I'm seeing people here who will be burning for days like fire, literal physical fire that will not stop. You will go with it, you will wake up with it, it will continue. There is an energizing of the spirit that is happening to people. An energizing of the spirit happening to people. It's a fresh fire. It's a fresh fire. Hallelujah. If you came with anything that is a point of contact, whether a document, certificate, whatever it is that is a point of contact, whether you are inside or outside, anything you can use, I want you to lift it up. So many things are happening to people in the realm of the spirit. There's someone at the media stand. The Lord is lifting that person to the next level. I'm seeing someone in a vision down at the media stand. Stepping up. Let them enter, oh God. Right now. Let them enter into that realm. That dimension. Somebody at the media stand. The Lord is, is like an initiation into a dimension. Into a dimension. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 19 says handkerchiefs and aprons handkerchiefs and aprons I've explained to you the mystery behind these results no man can speak over your life and you just have results like that it, it doesn't happen that way I'm about to speak over your points of contact if you don't have anything you are the point of contact yourself are we together Many of you will be surprised. Believe me. Believe me. Many of you will be surprised at the dramatic things that will happen. We are talking about the Holy Spirit here. We are not just talking about an anointed man. We are talking about the Holy Spirit. His anointing like a cloud comes to mantle certain aspects of your life. And you see grace speaking for you. Grace speaking for you. Lift it up, you can lift your hands. 
Speak now. In the name that is above all names, I prophesy upon every point of contact you are using now. Let a grace, the power of performance that makes things to work. I release it right now upon that instrument. I release it upon your documents. I release it upon your pictures. I release it upon your certificates. I release it upon your proposals. Hear me. Whatever you are agreeing for as a point of contact, I give life to it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit a dimension of results you have never seen begin to see it now I speak to every CGPA that is down here hear my voice I speak as one sent by the Lord I command you to arise now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ there are people who are supposed to graduate but as it is now it looks like they may not graduate i change it now in the name of the lord jesus christ i decree and declare where your helpers have passed you and ignored you i put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you i put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you listen everything that used to flow in your life and stopped mysteriously i opened the door for it to continue everyone here in business any kind of godly business i stretch my hands enter a level of rest now believe what i'm praying for you I bring you into a dimension of rest now. Every troubled family here, all kinds of troubles from lack of finances to trouble, to fight, to quarrel, in the name of Jesus, I introduce an anointing to that family. And I command, let there be peace right now. 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 Every troubled family, let there be peace right now. There are people here who need divine direction as a matter of urgency. I speak to you. Hear his voice and hear it clear. Hear his voice and hear it clear. Hear his voice and hear it clear. In the name of Jesus Christ, in dreams and visions, may his will be made known to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command every manifestation of the spirit of fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear of the future. Uncertainties around your life. That is making you do foolish things. I command right now. Fear. Go in the name of Jesus. Fear. Go in the name of Jesus. Fear, go in the name of Jesus. Fear, go in the name of Jesus. Every veil of disfavor that is around your life, 
that makes things to work for others until it gets to your turn and then mysteriously when the breakthrough is almost coming you never see it I decree and declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, I command that captivity to end now. I command that captivity to end now. Hear me? Everyone called jobless here. Yeah. I stand in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I decree and declare, may your miracle job find you. Believe what you are hearing. May your miracle job find you. In the name of Jesus. Now I pray for anyone here having any infirmity. I don't care what it is. I don't care how long. Any stranger in your body a lady is going to shout now under the anointing and then the power of God for healing will touch people in the name of Jesus I command be healed now say amen be healed now be healed now be healed now every blood disease be healed now ulcers be healed now migraines be healed now Every kind of abnormal condition in your body be healed now. Growths and lumps around the body, whether breast lumps, all kinds of lumps, I command that they disappear right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your family. In the name of Jesus between now and the next seven days may you hear strange testimonies from hope please believe me i say it again between now and the next seven days i stand in the name of the lord god of heaven and i command in the next seven days unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies it doesn't take time it takes his anointing everything that your hands have done and it did not work I stretch my hands to yours and I command from today become a proof producer I command today become a result producer become a result producer become a proof producer in the name of Jesus hear me every pending issue over your life every pending issue any kind of pending issue right now issues that have been hanging in the realm of the spirit and will not be resolved i decree and declare let an end come to those issues now let an end come to those issues now let an end come to those issues now every family here that has experienced delay as a family not an individual alone there is unction upon me the hand of god is upon me in the name of jesus i decree and declare the lord is asking me to push families forward i push you forward now by the mystery of prophecy i push you forward now i push you forward now me in the name of Jesus Christ whoever must show up in your life and lift you 
and lift your mother and lift your father and wipe your tears in the name of Jesus I stand by the God of heaven whose I am and I decree and declare that between now and the next two weeks strange encounters strange encounters strange encounters with the gift of men strange encounters strange encounters mysterious coincidences that will lead to your breakthrough everything that has died in your hands and in your life hear the word of the lord i command it to come back to life now i want to pray please drop your hands just the brothers lift your hands i want to release upon you grace for establishment listen if you are wise you will pay attention to what i'm saying there is a grace that establishes men are we together now establishment is where you gain stability in life financially are we together relationally spiritually purposefully there are many men many church brothers the reason why many people are not in relationships the reason why many people cannot move forward in their life is because the devil has taken this aspect out of their lives so you find a godly brother but you are 35 years you are still begging for money you are still living in your parents house it's a cause lift your hands in the name of jesus i pray for every brother here the grace and the unction that turns weak men into great men the grace and the unction that establishes men financially ministerially career wise and in purpose at the count of three in the name of jesus christ whose i am and whom i serve I decree and declare, may that grace come upon you now. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Upon you. I command that grace. There is a gentleman outside. That grace is coming upon him in a mighty way. Take that grace right now. Brothers, receive it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. It is this grace that brings speed of establishment in your life. Help us come to support you to gain your footing in life. It's not just by growing old. There is a grace. You don't have to pay for everything by yourself. There is a grace that sends help us to your life, to your ministry. Establishment is a mystery in the spirit. You can have a thing, but when you are established, you are, you are well stabilized enough to now begin to be a blessing to others. There are many people who are experiencing finances here, but they are not established. You are established means you can bless others without being affected. Established in wisdom. Your mind is developed so that you no longer act like a child. The Lord is ministering to me. The Lord is ministering to me that He wants to take away barrenness. 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 It doesn't just mean physical barrenness alone. Unproductivity is a cause, is the cause of hardship. The classic sign that a man is carrying that demonic thing is barrenness. In the name of Jesus, I command your desert to become a fruitful vine. In the name of Jesus, I command your fruitful vine to become a forest. I say it again, in the name of Jesus, I command your desert to be a fruitful vine. I command your desert to be a fruitful vine. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In one minute, I want you to ask the Lord for any one thing. I'm releasing my faith with you. Just one thing. Lift your voice and pray. 
I'm releasing my faith with you. Please pray. One minute. Ask the Lord and watch it happen. I release my faith with you. In the name of Jesus. I release my faith with you. Ask the Lord. Don't say it is impossible. We are talking about the God of heaven here. We are talking about the spirit of the living God. What you see is the ministry of the spirit. The ministry of the spirit. Ask what you will. And it be granted unto you by the spirit of God. Are you praying? Just one thing. Change my life. Just one thing. Give me laughter. Just one thing. Answer my marriage. Just one thing. Give me a child. Just one thing. Settle me financially. Just one thing. Multiply your grace on my life. Hallelujah. Whatever it is that you have asked the Lord, I release my faith with you and I call it your testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release my faith with you and I call it your testimony. Listen, the Bible says, and whatsoever Adam called it, that was the name thereof. If it is called a testimony, then it becomes a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, no matter how impossible it is, may the God of all flesh, the God of Jeshurun, that rides upon the wings of the wind, I pray that he will step into your life and give you dramatic testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will literally start feeling the presence of the Holy Spirit, like a presence walking, literally, literally, I mean what I'm saying literally walking like someone walking you enter a room some of you you will feel it as wind some of you you will see that shadow a similitude of his presence you will begin to have encounters not demonic encounters encounters with his presence you will be sleeping hear me you will be sleeping and you will feel a physical touch a man will wake you you will be alone in the room yet you will hear a voice clear and passive voice you will know that this is the spirit of God leading you in the name of Jesus I activate that dimension begin to walk in the impulses of the spirit the voice of the spirit the touch of the spirit the feelings of the spirit I program your spirit man to understand the impulses of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ yes he will come to you he will come to you he will open your bible when you are sleeping you will wake up and see your bible open he will write notes and leave it physical notes on papers you will see it happen you will pray and he will come to your room like benny Hinn, it will be good morning holy spirit you will have similitudes of encounters with him you will sleep in the night and your whole night will be full of visions 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 encounters visions encounters visions hear me men will come and sit on your bed and start shaking under the anointing because something a deposit of eternity has followed you they will wear your clothes and the mantle will catch up with them they will wear your shoes they will eat in your plates and you will carry strange fire in the name of jesus you will hear men call you and confess and tell you i'm sorry i'm the one who stole your laptop i'm sorry i'm the one who took this from you i'm sorry because of the presence of god listen bye this new dimension of encounter I command that you become untouchable untouchable by witches and wizards untouchable by accidents untouchable by bomb blasts 
untouchable by armed robbers. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Quarter to shame. Your senior partner will arise for you. No longer will people say, where is your God? Your life will be an answer to that prophecy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, there are some of you here, what has happened to you tonight? It will last for a long time. The word of God, the Bible will open to you in a fresh way. A way that you have never seen it. A dimension that you have never seen. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media. Are we together? Everyone say after me in the name of Jesus. Please be serious in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that every spirit, every force, every influence standing against God's word over my life, I declare that you are under judgment tonight. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and pray, everyone. Shala bras kada baladia. Shapratas kala brato shobrige de balada balada ba. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are always spirits behind the tragedies of men. Whether or not you know, it is there. And until those influences are taken out of your life, victory is far from your reach. Are we together? Number two, I want you to decree and declare that the fire of God must fall upon every challenge you came here with. Say, Lord, visit it one by one until there is total victory don't let the challenge don't let the challenge limit you take your eyes away from it and pray are you praying inside and outside Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against our King? No one can. No one. Lift your hands everyone just lift your hands and be silent such a strong anointing in this place tonight lift your hands and just be silent please i'm seeing two numbers five and one and the lord is saying there are 51 people here 51 people he's bringing massive deliverance to their families 
I want you to bring them out. 51 people. Don't shout. Don't do nothing. Just keep your hands. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands. And the power of God, that unction for deliverance, will move like wildfire all through the overflows. Right now, I stretch my hands in the name of the Lord God, whose I am and whom I serve. Right now, I release the ministry of angels. Mighty deliverance right now. Bring them out. The fire of God is visiting individuals for their families. I see fire burning. That's what I'm seeing. Bring them out. Just keep your hands lifted. The angel of his presence moving inside and outside. Moving inside and outside. Please quickly, let's have them. Overflow one. I see a strange activity of angels. Strange deliverance. You reign. You ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty in God. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Seketela kata, keep your hands lifted. Malekete prekete lakaya. Ay 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 ay. Mighty on your throne. You reign. You ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh. Help that lady, please. You are mighty God. Break forth, down fountains of the deep, and with Kadosh. You are mighty on your own. Keep your hands lifted. I'm seeing snakes. That's what I'm seeing. Just flying up. Snakes. I'm seeing many ladies being delivered from this influence. Right now, I stretch my hands. In the name of Jesus. I put the word of God upon this prophecy. In the name of Jesus. I release upon it the power to perform. Those influences. In the name of Jesus. I release judgment, 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 judgment upon every strange influence limiting the life of God's people. Break forth down fountains of the deep and weep and weep and weep at all. You reign, you reign, Kadosh, you are mighty on the Hallelujah. Now lift your hands, Jesus. I'm seeing gates, gates with chains. One shout is what will bring that gate down. Are you ready? Just a shout of the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Gates be open. Gates of limitations. Gates of stagnation be open by the unction of the Spirit. Gates be open. Ephata be open. The gate must open. Tonight is a miracle service. 
I prophesied the two lift gate be open the two lift gate many of you don't know what is happening in the realm of the spirit I tell you I see gates gates of destinies gates of possibilities that are being held by witchcraft gates over families no progress no results I come tonight with an apostolic and a prophetic anointing gates be open gates be open gates be open gates be open listen listen to me a gate is what gives a man access access into a place access out of a place the bible says to open the doors of prison there are men who are moving but they are under prison there's nothing hear me you may be here listening to me there's nothing you do that works no matter how you try seek advice it will not work no matter what you do you are not bad you are not lazy but there is a spirit but right now lift your hands in the name of jesus one more time i come against the spirit that stand as gatekeepers over the victory of people over the life of people at the count of three i want you to shout that name the name that is a key that opens the gate one two three i open it i open it i open it online outside i command it to open i command it to open locked by ancestry locked by divination locked by necromancy and projection manipulation of the constellations i command in the name of he that holds the key of david i command that door be open that no power can shut be sensitive tonight the spirit of god is moving one of the ushers one of the ushers you are an usher but the unction of the spirit help her visiting your family visiting your family hallelujah hallelujah i'm seeing a lady quickly there's no time to speak our time is gone we have to pray for the sick but i'm seeing a lady you have two sisters two of them are barren they are married no children please where are you it's part of your prayer request you are wearing a black dress you are the one come Hello, ah there's witchcraft in your family look at me come you are a great lady but there is terrible witchcraft in your family there is a lady again the lord is opening my eyes i don't know why this happens i'm seeing a map benway 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 people get ready benway 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 i see benway and the lord says stretch your hands and bring deliverance to men in benway i stretch my hands right now the anointing of the spirit visiting people benway 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 by the spirit of god by the spirit of god hear me and i'm hearing in my spirit break the covenant of motherhood i don't know what this means but this is something that has to do with a covenant involving women i arrest it right now in the name of jesus i see fire dropping right now people from benway you are from benway you come under this influence please help that yes. benway benway the spirit of the living god the spirit of the living god traveling to benway breaking covenant i speak to the soil of that land release the destinies tied with you 
listen what i'm seeing is not good the lord is taking me to a vision and i'm standing and i'm seeing black ropes around trees this is otuko black ropes tied around trees and the lord tells me that the destiny of men were tied to those trees in the name of jesus christ lift your hands at the count of three may the fire that the god of elijah commanded i command it right now upon every shrine every activity of darkness in the name of jesus let it come upon you now let it come upon you now let it come upon you now hallelujah the supernatural i've taught you operates only in partnership with five elements listen without one or more of these elements the supernatural cannot find expression Guy, i'm seeing a wild this is a serpent I'm looking at this person and I'm not seeing a human being again. I'm seeing a serpent. I stretch my hands. The Bible says, For the light shines in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. Now listen carefully. Five elements of the supernatural. Number one is light. The supernatural cannot find expression until it can use the medium of light. Number two, the air, sound. The supernatural cannot find expression until there is a medium of sound. Number three, the earth. The earth is a universal point of contact. Every living thing makes contact with it. Number three. Are we together? Number four, water. The mystery that bears witness. Water is not an entity. Water is history. Water is a memory bank of the realm of the spirit. Contained within it are more mysteries than we understand. Number five, fire. A mystery entity that does not run away from anything and yet consumes everything purifies and destroys can make and kill the only personality with the quality of fire is God can make a life and destroy it would destroy another thing and in it lift another thing purify gold and destroy the impurities I want us to use one of the elements of the supernatural because everyone is standing on the ground I want to pray for you the lord is asking me to break delay please just follow me we are coming to the sick people but just follow me tonight let's walk circumspectly i'm seeing people whose feet have been tied down they cannot move you are here no matter what you do there is no progress this is the story of your family look at me the lord wants to visit you first even before your family your two sisters they are married no child are you married you are not married we have to pray i don't know if you believe what i'm telling you but god is raising you to be a savior in your family believe this thing no you may not look like it but it is the spirit of deborah but first and foremost you must be delivered first god is not finished with her i command that devil go there is no hiding in his presence in the name of jesus christ hold my hands my dear in the name of jesus the lord god whom i serve i command the reign of witchcraft as i hold you right now over your sisters over your life and over your family i command them to be broken right now i release upon you grace for restoration in the name of jesus and i pray for you that grace of deborah that causes women to rise with the strength of men i release that grace upon you i want you to go and tell your sisters the Lord brings a visitation to them. Even as he did to Hannah at Shiloh, the Lord comes for them with strange visitations. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now all those under the anointing, I command the spirits. Any spirit that has been located by God must leave the victims. Therefore in the name of Jesus and at the count of three, you know my voice. I represent his majesty. At the count of three, you must let them go now and forever. One two three be gone go out of your lives destinies 
now and forever out of their lives out of their destinies I prophesy recovery I prophesy recovery I prophesy recovery for when a thief is caught he's made to pay back tenfold I command recovery in the name of Jesus let them go there is no hiding for his light shines upon you in the name of Jesus Christ listen if there is any project you are involved in lift your hand any project business project building project please just lift your hands before I pray we pray the prayer that will release speed projects ah. I'm standing and I'm seeing an angel of the Lord walking across this place and I'm standing here and he's saying I should stretch my hands here there is a visitation that is coming for the people here therefore I stretch my hands Lord your will be done I don't know those who you are bringing perfection to them right now in the name of Jesus I release that unction and that grace everyone within this vicinity let there be supernatural deliverances and supernatural miracles help them in the name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ now everyone is standing I want to pray for you please listen there is such a thing as advancement in a man's life it's not a doctrine it's an experience where a man can make progress spiritually financially business wise if you are in a position for a long time it's a sign that something is wrong are we together it says ye have come past this mountain long enough then it tells you the formula the door is in the north it said turn northwards turn northwards you have come past this mountain long enough I want you to stand on the ground I see physical fire rising and sweeping consuming people's feet some of you as this is happening you will hear the sounds of physical chains literally physical chains this will happen I want us to shout the name of Jesus three times that's what the Holy Ghost is telling me I will lead you and you will shout it the third time the chains of delay and stagnation will will break open many of you physically physically you feel it happening Thank you, Jesus. Let the word of God come upon this prophecy. Are you ready now? Number one. Are you ready? Number two. Libra Katuso Tobaritata. Now I want you to get ready. That grace that came upon Elijah and caused him to run, overtaking the chariots of Ahaz speed and advancement is coming on people right now are you ready shout Jesus receive it now receive it now let the earth deliver to your destiny the keys of advancement I command you to advance I command you to move forward I break limitations I break limitations I command advancement outside advancement the overflows advancement may that anointing hit you advancement 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 in the name of Jesus the son of the living God no power can stop you God is greater, our God is stronger, God you are higher than any other, our God is healer, awesome in power.
stretch your hands towards me don't lift it up stretch it towards me there is there is going to be an activation of strange gifts strange gifts strange gifts strange gifts the time for impartation will come but fire is living and it's coming upon people and the Lord said let them stretch their hands in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands back to you in the name of Jesus gifts 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 dormant gifts dormant gifts where is it I call it forth now dormant gifts dormant gifts you may not know it's there I'm not talking of the gifts of the spirit I'm talking of potentials gifts gifts I stir it up right now like a well, I command it. Like the axe head, I command it to float right now. I command it to float right now. Gifts that will bring you honor. Gifts. So toko toko tope reke teke te. Gifts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Gifts. There is a lady. I'm looking at you now in the realm of the spirit. You are dressed in something that looks like orange, like the house are dressing from your head to who is that? Who is that? Come from this row. Jesus praise. What's your name? Veronica. From where? I came from Abuja. You came from Abuja. As I stood here, I was hearing your prayer, and you were saying, Lord, let this man of God locate me. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that two things now. Number one is captivity and reproach is being rolled away from your life. That's the first thing that is happening to you. Captivity and reproach. Captivity and reproach. Inside, inside the main auditorium, from where people sit in front, count nine lines, nine rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The power of God is coming on somebody on that row right now inside inside it's a strange miracle coming for that person the ninth row supernatural manifestation of the power of God my sister what do you want the Lord to do in your life uh -uh. you are just generalizing huh I'm looking at you and then I'm seeing your heart and I'm seeing should I say it do you believe you can are you married huh where's your husband did you come with him what do you want the lord to do for him see this man is your real prayer point. that's that's you want the lord to honor him and what what is he doing now i'm seeing him leaving that place oh, to another place that has been your desire go and tell him that a man of god has prophesied to him that he's going to leave that place supernaturally supernaturally and that he should stop wasting his time over the person he's calling all the time to help him that's not where his help will come from go and tell him that the lord said he can raise help anywhere in the name of jesus christ i pray amen and amen there is a lady here in this room in this um place i'm hearing grace please let's hurry up quickly so i can leave this place we have to pray for the sick i'm hearing grace grace who is that you are down at that side grace who is that wearing red grace that's okay grace your name is grace this is not this is is it maimuna is it maimuna or something i'm hearing a name maimuna 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 I wish we had time today but we have to pray for the sick i want us to leave this very fast because i'm going to counsel well just leave her i found the person but but you come my dear i want to pray who is this no 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 it's not just any grace i pray for you my dear lift your hands god wants to visit your family there are four people here a very strange unction for revelation and teaching is coming upon you now no 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 four of you right now a strong power is hitting you right now 
just in this this place outside i don't know what it is about this place maybe the miracle services will start coming here now there is there's real faith in this place my dear i end it now i end it now in the name of jesus christ keep your hands on her stomach i end it now i command that reproach taken from your life in the name of jesus don't come out for social reasons but i'm seeing a lady here you have suffered a very terrible infection this is a, a woman issue a terrible infection this thing you have treated it and done everything you know to do but it has refused to go this is witchcraft it's not just a normal infection you have spent your money but right now the lord is saying i should prophesy to you that it comes to an end complete end right now in the name of jesus christ complete end i stretch my hands four people right now here in this row lord where are they one is a lady three are gentlemen step into that dimension that's right help them thank you jesus hold on there is a mother here god wants to wipe yes madam who is a gala here hold on you are a gala from where from where Oppo. where is that is there a place like that in the gala land huh in kogi state so that you don't come and tell us lies if, if you are not from there just wait there is your turn to come from lift your hands i'm seeing an attack on your life and your family and the lord is too free madam where is your child did you come with your child There's no time to waste, please. I'll just pray for you so that we can go in the name of witchcraft. Now, on you right now, Jesus Christ, in the Jesus Christ, lift your hand, say after me in the name of Jesus, say it in the name of Jesus, the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Is bringing into my life strange testimonies lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice those outside are you praying lift your voice and begin to pray Kai one of the things listen hold on I'm seeing now I want you to believe it I just looked up and I started hearing the cry of I see babies just fill the room listen carefully I just lifted I wanted to move and I just lifted my eyes and the Lord told me that one of the major miracles he's doing tonight is giving people children if you are standing in for barrenness whether you are in any overflow please come in I want to minister to you by myself barrenness only barrenness please husband and wife if you are standing for barrenness except you are standing in for someone if you are standing alone you must be married praise God if you are standing alone you must be married in the name of Jesus may that grace come upon you by the power of the Holy Spirit please stand you can go you can go Pastor Alpha now we are going to pray and while they are doing that let's buy time ushers move around all the overflows make sure you collect the request of everybody I notice overflow three there are few people attending to them there so let's have people you see why we need more ushers and we need more people say after me father, father. everyone shout it father, father. We, receive we receive your visitation in the name of jesus we receive miracles signs and wonders now please accept they ask you you don't have to tell them what is wrong don't worry the hand of god is here to bless you in the name of jesus christ father we give you all the praise those online i want you to connect by faith and trust the power of god to touch you we have very few minutes to do this and in the name of jesus will be done no matter what the issue is as we touch you start checking yourself you can register your testimony we'll take it on friday whether you are standing in for someone don't worry the power of god is there to touch you 
in the name of Jesus father we give you all the praise do you know why I came here because I saw that this woman your issue is not just healing hold on I saw the, her holding pictures and a passport and then I'm looking at it and I saw a plane is it something like you were staying outside the country is that true yes sir. because I'm seeing a woman a plane bringing you is that true uh -uh. and the Lord is opening my eyes I'm seeing another vision I'm seeing a quarrel between you and a man like your husband and that man drove you yes sir. he drove yes sir. from where from abroad where is abroad Qatar. from where where is he this is you Oh my God. This is a baby. Look at me. Why did he drive you away? You see why prophecy is powerful. Look at this woman. Come, madam. I looked at these things and the Lord told me that this woman needs help. I know I'm taking time, but let's attend. Madam, don't cry. It's okay. Where were you before? No other man. We are together in our blood. We are together. I, were you married? Yes, sir. You are from where? Benway State, sir. You are from Benway? Yes, sir. You see, I told you what God was saying about Benway. You you married him and went abroad? Yes, sir. Then what happened? He said as you come back, my paper is having issue. Not knowing that he went and married secretly from my community. So he left. married another woman? Yeah, from my same community, sir. He's staying abroad with her? Yes, he drove you away with the baby. Yes, sir. No, he, uh, he drove me when the pregnancy was one week. <laughs> Did he know you were pregnant? No, sir. Immediately I took it. He now see, said I should come see, back. Man, listen. This this is what we, we keep saying again and again. Please listen to me. Now I don't mean no disrespect, but you see why ladies will tell you people. To marry people who are born again not just people who have money huh? don't let anybody just come and show you one shoe one bag and just carry you around like that it must be godly look at what this man did for this woman one week and left her with this innocent child so where are you staying now i'm staying out in abuja so my it's sister. from abuja you came yes sir what do you want God to do for you? I want God to bring him back for me, sir. He married another woman. Yes, sir. She knew you were his wife. Yes, And she still came and married. Yes, my dad is also yes, sir. Where's your dad? Daddy, please come, sir. Oh, he cannot walk. After my marriage, I now send stroke to him, sir. He's from, okay, Benway too. Yes, sir. Why am I seeing light leaving you to this man? Come. What's your relationship with her? He's my stepbrother. I'm a first, uh, I mean, stepbrother, the firstborn of the family. You are the firstborn? Yes, sir. From where? From a business state. You are suffering. Hi. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Nothing is working your life. Yes, sir. At all. You need the hand of God. Look at your father. Look at this man. Look at this dear man. You see this? This, brothers and sisters, believe it or not, is what witchcraft looks like. Are you seeing this? Whether you are in Qatar or wherever, if that spirit is not destroyed, this is what it will do. Because I stood and I looked at her and I saw a plane carrying a woman, but she didn't look. If you see this woman, does she look like somebody who has gone abroad? I'm not insulting you. You can see that this woman was not even treated well suffered with the man now we went abroad and sent her back when this baby now if we decide to carry this baby and take care of this baby when this baby becomes responsible the man will now call the court and come and say he wants his child back then they will now accuse men of god and accuse everybody and say everybody is stupid you are using the baby to make to get power you see why sometimes we avoid these things it's not because we cannot help people honestly it's because sometimes the media right now are experts at stigmatizing men of god you do anything to try to help this baby now you'll be in trouble are we together help me
opening my eyes the same spirit that made that man drive you is making him fight with this woman now they are not even no 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 i'm not seeing peace huh i'm not seeing peace i'm seeing a situation where this man is coming and checking the woman's phone and then i'm seeing another man's text and the man is giving her a dirty slap slap on her face bible said what god has joined what's his name Simon, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that created the heavens and the earth, I call you back to your wife. In the name of Jesus, may you encounter a man of God and an anointing that will save you and deliver you there. And I declare in the name of Jesus, this baby will not be a bastard. Baby, I speak to you. Every foundational thing programmed in your spirit as a baby, we cancel it right now. Madam, look at me. I decree and declare the favor that was on Esther that made her dancer look at her once and had to call her to be his queen. May that favor come upon you. Listen, don't go to any native doctor. You hear me because i'm seeing one mama coming to you in abuja and she's telling you that there's somebody she told you he's a man of god he's a native doctor don't go anywhere huh? and number two anybody that says you should bring one naira what did i say one naira for prayer just thank him and walk away if, if this poor woman you still collect money from her for prayer then you must be a very wicked person isn't it in the name of Jesus, he will return with testimony. My brother, come. Are you working? What do you want God to do in your life? Um, I'm a pastor. So when I, I mean, God called me into ministry. So in the field, the back to be, I mean, the came so tough, the, the attacks and the uh, foundation, it became so strong. So I took off. I, I couldn't stay. But up, up to now, God is still calling me back to where I serve him. I've been serving him. To where, where were you serving? In Kogi State. No. You need mentorship, you need covering, you need impartation. You don't just get up like that and go into ministry. God saved you, they would have killed you like a chicken. There are rules to this thing. Eh? It's not just because you touch somebody and you fell down, you get up and go to Kogi State. Do you know what pursued you back? Eh? It's the mercy of God, it's not witchcraft. They would, you would have died like a chicken. Please listen, I'm not scaring you. But there are systems. Don't get up out of zeal and just say i am anointed be careful as powerless as satan is is your understanding that this depowers him if you don't have that understanding you can be anointed and your life will be destroyed praise the lord my brother hold my hands i'm not just seeing you doing ministry truly you need help eh? you need help after service come and see this man pastor alpha eh? after service come and see him he will talk with you and guide you and train you and help you in the name of jesus christ a time of prophecy and activations some of you are here because you desire higher levels of unction your ministries your lives your businesses the prophetic word of God is very powerful when there is grace backing it because it does not only reveal it creates are we together the next about two or three minutes i want your heart to genuinely and desperately be open be open in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a grace walking in this gentleman you are the first i know you are doing protocol work but you are the first to receive this grace i see a grace on two of you supernatural gift of the Holy Ghost taking you to a new 
dimension in the spirit. Hallelujah. Benga, come. Grace for another dimension of fire. Lift your hands. Grace. Fresh fire. Fresh dimension. Fresh fire. Fresh dimension. Fresh fire. Fresh dimension. You speak and there is power of performance. Power of performance. Power of performance. Power of performance. No word will be empty. You speak and there is grace and the power of performance. Hallelujah. Someone come and hold. Victor, come. Come and hold them. Somebody. Grace. Supernatural influence and wisdom and victory in a strange dimension. A dimension you have never seen in your life in the name of Jesus. Supernatural grace. I open up that level. Grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Where shall they? We're rounding up. They are doing their. Please, someone, hold her. I don't want. Hold the child. These people will have just a minute or two. Hold her. Make sure that. Ladies, you come and hold her. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Lord is quickening the power of sight, the grace to see, grace to see, the grace to see. Make sure you are holding her well. The grace to see. Penny, you are taking back fresh fire, fresh fire, in the name of Jesus Christ fresh fire I'm not it's not like I'm just picking people this is this is just by the spirit come the Lord is bringing glory on you fresh fire Give it upon your hands in the name of Jesus Christ listen you see hold on we're out of time but pastor house on the rock come you have been desiring something for a long time. Come. God is giving it to you in this season. In the name of Jesus. May that fire. May that grace. Take it. Drink of that wine. In the name of Jesus. Fresh unction. Fresh unction. Capacity. Open up your capacity in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's a heavy spirit under that small girl. In the name of Jesus Christ. Place it on her. Just place it on her. Leave, leave it there. In the name of Jesus. Judgment upon that devil. Foul spirit. Hallelujah. We're out of time, but I want you to receive. Let me start with the men of God. You are in ministry here. It's time to take something heavy and something genuine. Let me pray. Jamfa, come. Ejimi, come. I'm seeing a, a new, a truly new grace and a new wine. New grace. And a new one is supernatural dimension. Dimension. This grace will speak in unbelievable ways. Lord, bring him into that experience. In the name of Jesus. Truly bring him into that experience. I open up. I open up. I open up. Closed fountains. I open up now. Closed fountains. I open up now. Fire. Fresh grace for influence. Influence, influence, business influence, new grace, new dimensions of wealth, influence, commanding miracles, strange miracles. Collect that child from hope, collect that child from hope 
in the name of Jesus fresh fire hope I activate that dimension fresh fire in the name of Jesus God is giving you eyes that see strange dreams revealing direction for people's lives in the name of Jesus where's Aaron Aaron where's Aaron in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord says I should tell you seasons of reward are before you seasons of great and strange reward father let it be by the power of your spirit by the power of your spirit lift your hands in the name of Jesus Christ God, something is coming strong go for new levels in ministry at the count of three if you are here in ministry there is a call of God upon your life one two that fire comes now take that fire now take that fire a new level of ministry a new level of power a new level of grace never to be buried never to be buried never to be buried Never to be buried. Where's Yerima, head of department media? Please come quickly. Quickly, I'm praying. Where is he? Oh, that's him there. In the name of Jesus, the Lord says he's bringing you honor, untold honor, untold honor by the Spirit of the living God. Untold honor, untold honor, untold honor. Now I decree and declare. Jordan, where's Jordan? Jordan bookstore. I hear restoration. Where are you? Restoration fire. That restoration fire. In the name of Jesus. Everything the canker worm, the palmer worm has stolen. Restoration. In the name of Jesus. Now I pray for you. By the power of the Holy Ghost. The Spirit of God comes upon you and you begin to run like Elijah I prophesy speed receive it now receive it now speed 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 by the unction of the spirit speed by the unction of the spirit speed in the name of Jesus hallelujah every helper of your destiny that is supposed to show up and partner with you and endorse you to the next level in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands and I place an unction on your life receive of their ministry now receive of their ministry now receive of their ministry now where's Pastor Alpha's wife just hold her there is heavy so in the name of Jesus the Lord is saying have I not said I will bring you favor it will manifest God is bringing favor after you give birth to your child pastor your family will step into a strange level of favor it will be at the commencement of this boy's birth or this child the moment the child is born in the name of Jesus Christ there will be strange miracles by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I pray for you the kind of glory and honor you have never seen upon your life I declare receive it now receive it right now all your tithes your giving God has released the blessings but something has hijacked it in the realm of the spirit Jabakatos Kebranda Lates Kapreteka Pariatos I command the release of your harvest. I command the release of your harvest. I command the release of your harvest. Whatever was not working in your life before you came here, I decree by the Spirit of the Living God, go back to it and watch it work in a way that will shock you. Whoever opens his mouth, to mock your God goes down immediately I say it again whoever opens his mouth to mock your God goes down immediately 
anyone here been eyed by the spirit of death to make sure that the earth kills you to make sure that you die or any bad news from your family I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus Christ as you step into the month of May by the power that is in the name of Jesus I declare in one month alone in one month he said have you ever had this that a city is born in one day he said but as soon as Zion travels she shall put forth a son I declare in one month this month of May a dimension of the ministry of the Holy Spirit to bring you strange results receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus I pray for your family members in the name that is above all names if they have never testified from January till now I command testimonies from next month I pray for those who are students you wrote your exams you cannot rest you are afraid whatever went wrong I change it now whatever went wrong I change it now I don't care what went wrong I change it now anyone here trusting God for a job by May miracle service as surely as the God of heaven lives may God shake the heavens and the earth and give you your job and you are here you are walking and they've refused to promote you whoever sits on your promotion gets out of his office in the name of Jesus Christ any human being on this earth who has fraternized with the elements of the supernatural to limit your life I pray now I command all the elements of the supernatural to fight them the same way the stars fought for Deborah I command the earth to fight them I command their success to fight them anyone who has trivialized your grace and neglected what you represent to make sure that doors don't open for you I decree and declare in their presence the Lord will lift you any prayer life here that has died because of carelessness carnality whatever it is sin that has been responsible for destroying your prayer life your passion you were on fire for God but there's laziness carelessness lukewarmness in the name of Jesus like the hair of Samson I command a sevenfold restoration for you now prayer fire in the name of Jesus Christ whatever has destroyed your world life no passion you carry your Bible you don't even know what to study you make up your mind that you will study there is a grace that helps men I pray in the name of Jesus may that enabling grace come upon your life now may that enabling grace come upon your life now the final prayer I want to pray for you listen there is a name that God is called the lifter of men hear me don't let any man lie to you that he can lift you on his own a man can receive nothing except it is given to him do you know lifting is a sign that God is with you yes read your Bible lifting to leave your current position to another is not a sign of big manism it truly is a sign that God is with you read your Bible there is nobody that God was with who he did not lift God who can pick a man from a donkey many of us it's not like you are doing bad but where you are you have been there for a long time everybody is rising and they come and see you spiritually financially please don't let anybody indoctrinate you that lifting is not of God if you are not lifted you will be frustrated at a point 
because the only way to bless others is as you are rising therefore I speak to your life the God who has gloriously lifted this ministry the God who by his spirit has helped us giving us a voice connected us to over 44 nations of the earth supernaturally by his spirit I pray in the name of Jesus wherever on the surface of the earth your lifting is tied to I decree and declare Maraca dos calibre de tela mare dos copre te que la barriatata. Be lifted now in the name of Jesus. Be lifted now in the name of Jesus. I speak to your business, whatever you do. Be lifted now in the name of Jesus. I speak to your ministry. Be lifted now in the name of Jesus. They are taken for a prey and none say it restore. I say restore. I prophesy restore. In the name of Jesus, wave your hands and give Jesus all the praise. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and bless him for the mighty miracles praise the lord praise the lord let the earth hear his voice praise the lord praise the lord let the people rejoice oh come to the Father through Jesus. Hallelujah. I like us to just thank the Lord. Listen carefully. You see, one of the secrets to securing the hand of God is to be sensitive enough to thank him for everything there are no cheap miracles when it has to do with the God of the Bible are we together yes in one minute as a family of faith and all connecting from around the world can you say thank you Jesus thank you Jesus for healings supernatural provisions thank you restoration mention them and say thank you are you blessing him it's part of the service You are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you, there is no one else like you, truly you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you.
Hallelujah. We bless you. We thank you. Be glorified. Be glorified. This is your house, your home. We welcome you, Lord. We welcome you. This is your house, your home. We welcome you. This is your house, your home. We welcome you, Lord. We welcome you. This is your house, your home. I welcome you. Sing, I am your house. Voices, I am your house. I am your house. Ah. Your home. I welcome you, Lord. I welcome you. I am your. This place, O oh Lord, remain a place of signs and wonders. Let this house remain a place of your presence. Let it remain a place of salvation, a place of encounters, a place of transformation. Oh, we desire your presence, we desire your presence, we desire your glory. We know the value of your presence. We know the value of your word. We know the value of your spirit. I love, I love. I love your presence. I love, I love. I love your presence. I love, I love. I love you, Jesus. I love, I love. I love your presence. I love, I love. I love your presence. I love you. I love you, Jesus. Listen, one of the things that I pray that we will learn is the sincerity and the purity of worship. We're people of excellence and we're organized people. But when you stand before him, you must be unashamed about taking off your golden crown. I cast my crown before the highest royalty I am undone before your glorious majesty I truly cast my crown before I am 
You're the King of kings and lords, of lords. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord. Your glorious majesty. Don't be tired. We are not wasting our time, I assure you. These are the secrets of His presence. One genuine encounter can give you a decade worth of results. It pays to spend time in his presence. Ah. Shalabarate sigede baladiata. Take your place. your place Lord take your place in my life take your place Lord you are the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost you are the Holy Ghost. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Oh. to yourselves in psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, making melody in your heart unto the Lord. Worthy Cast our crowns tonight. Worthy is the Lamb. Say, Worthy, Worthy is the faithful, faithful. 
faithful is the faithful. Faithful is the mighty. Mighty is the Lamb. Mighty. These are the unctions that distinguish us. Just a few minutes and we'll be seated. Don't miss out in the atmosphere. Your name is called Emmanuel. Your name is called Emmanuel. Your name is called. Ah. Your name is called. Your name is called. Your name is called. The lion of the tribe of Judah lives in me. Is working inside the lion of the tribe of Judah lives in me. Is the lion of the tribe of Judah lives in me. Hey, is the lion of the tribe of Judah lives in me. The lion. Of the tribe of Judah lives in me. He's the lion of the tribe of Judah lives in me. The lion of the tribe of Judah lives in me. The Lord is speaking to me that He's rolling away reproach. Is rolling away reproach from individuals, rolling away reproach from families. Oh, yes, they laughed at you and they mocked you, but my God is about to rise as a mighty, terrible one. A mighty, terrible one. In the name of Jesus, may that grace and that unction come upon you. Rolling away reproach. He said, For your shame, you shall receive double. For your shame, you shall receive double. Believe the prophetic word. For your shame, you shall receive double. I will be still and know you are God. My soul be still and know you are God. Truly I will be still. This is a word for someone. I'm not singing a song. I'm prophesying. I will be still. Take your eyes away from the storm. Your soul be still. And know that he is God. My soul be still. Listen, we are going to sit shortly, but I sense in my spirit that God is just lifting burdens. There are people who came here with bills, came here with things that are pressing your neck. Though I walk 
through the valley low I feel no evil By the waters still my soul My heart will trust Take your eyes away from the challenges My eyes will trust Just one more time and we'll be seated Though I walk through the path I feel no My heart will cross Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Who is Gabriel? I'm hearing a name, Gabriel. Who is Gabriel? We'll be seated shortly. But the Lord is ministering to me. I'm hearing a name, Gabriel. God is bringing a very strange visitation for the family of Gabriel. Just, please, where is that person? Let me just pray for you shortly. Gabriel. While we're doing that, I just want to minister. While David was here ministering, I sat back there and the Lord opened my eyes. And I saw chains, not on people's feet, but on their hand. This is a limitation against the works of your hand and your productivity. I want to break that chain right now. Gabriel. Who is Gabriel? You're all Gabriel. I want to pray. What do you do, my friend? I'm, I'm teaching. I want to pray. There is a family. My dear, look at me. This lady. I'm seeing an angel pouring oil on this lady. And the Lord is saying he's shifting her family to a new dimension. I stretch my hands and I declare. You will drink of this wine. You will shift to levels beyond your imagination. In the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God. I pray for you, Gabriel. Everything that represents... Please make sure that you're not just coming out carelessly, please. Hallelujah. This is koinonia. The power of God is going to come on one of you. When that happens, then I'll speak to you. This is the instruction God is giving me. There's a mighty anointing. That is going to come on one of you is a grace that is breaking the yoke of delay in the name of jesus every yoke of delay i'm praying for this family but i'm praying by extension to everyone in the name that is above all names let it be broken now let it be broken now by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let it be broken now. I release those families in the name of Jesus Christ. Now the Lord is that spirit. I'm ready to pray just a few minutes. I saw the hands of people tied with chains. No matter what you do, it doesn't seem to work. It works for others, but when it gets to your turn, there will always be one story or the other. Fire is about to fall. Shanabakata. I stretch my hands. Bring them out. Everyone under the influence of this ministration, if there is any power holding your hands and your productivity, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare may that yoke be broken now. Skatabakatokatebata. Chains be broken now. Chains be broken now. Chains be broken now. I'm seeing fire rest on people. Bring them. Chains be broken. It's impossible to be here and not have results. This is koinonia. I declare chains be broken. Atmosphere 
sing now. Chains be broken. Time. Atmosphere, prophesy. I'm seeing the vision of an employment letter. In two weeks, three people from one family in two weeks this is what the lord is revealing three people from one family i stand by the god of heaven and i declare this as a prophetic word let it be you will marvel and wonder at the supernatural power of the holy ghost i declare it as a prophetic word in the name of jesus christ the lord is showing me people who have been around projects simple things that should be finished on time some of you it has taken years you start businesses you start things that finishes grace is not there i want to pray for you in the name of jesus everything you have started and the devil will not want you to finish it i stand by the god of heaven whether it's a building project whether it's a business whether it's a spiritual adventure i release the finishers anointing upon you the finishers anointing upon you the hand of Zerubbabel that began this work I prophesy that same hand will complete it in the name of Jesus Christ There are people here, you've been part of the lifting of many people, but they've forgotten about you. There is a book in the spirit called the book of remembrance. The Bible says, and that night could not King Ahasuerus sleep. And he said, bring me the chronicles. I'm, sp I'm speaking to someone by the spirit. And Mordecai had saved the king, but he was not rewarded. I speak to you, no matter how long it has been. That every reward that should have come to you by reason of your participating in the success of others and you've been forgotten in the name that is above all names may the book of remembrance be open for you now <laughs> believe it believe it this is not motivation may the book of remembrance be open for you now For all of you who are out here, I declare those chains are broken forever. Broken forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You've been married two years. No child. Two years. No child. Two years. Let me just pray for that person. Two years. I'm not saying you are trusting God. It's an exact word two years where are you how many years two years come is your wife here no I'm seeing your wife following this program in a vision now where is she hallelujah huh? At home. this is what I'm saying what's that name because I'm seeing that she's watching this same program. Yes, sir. The power of God as he's touching you. Yes, sir. He's going to touch her right now. Amen. Where you believe that? The wonder working power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I don't care what the medical report is. In the name that is above all names, I declare. According to the time of life, this is the same altar you will stand with your miracle children. Receive it right now for you and for your wife. In the name of Jesus Christ. This lady, my dear, what's your name? Who is Tabitha? I'm Tabitha. What's your name? Tabitha. Gamba. The Lord is saying that the season of captivity has come to an end. 
Where are you coming from? Taraba State. Taraba State. Yes, All the way. You've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Yes, Go back. You have a baby girl, then a baby boy. This is what the Lord has revealed to me. In the name of Jesus Christ. The wonder working power of his spirit. Listen to me. Every one of you who is standing here for this prophetic word. Why is that woman standing there? Madam, where are you coming from? Here in Abuja. You're trusting God for the fruit of the womb? No, I'm not seeing the issue of a child. You, is, huh? What is moving in your stomach? Nothing, sir. I want to pray for you. Why are you here? My sister's marriage. Is no, I want to pray for you, madam. Leave the issue of your sister's marriage. I want to pray so that they will not tell you something is growing in your stomach. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing something moving. And then I'm seeing a medical report and they're saying you have fibroid. You see what is happening? I want to pray for you. Leave the issue of your sister. Let God deal with your issue. Every tree that has not been planted by my father in your body and around your life let it be uprooted right now 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 where are you coming from sir yes i'm from abuja what abuja. do you do property Ah, huh? property, sir. But it has not been working. Yes, sir. It started from 2018. Yes, sir. Nothing at all. Moving. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. Come, you've not been able to sell anything. People will promise you and go behind you and sell property. Exactly. This is sir. what the Lord is showing me. Yes, but in the month of June, yes, there will be a, a miracle that God is going to give you. Take that grace. I stretch my hands towards you. In the name of Jesus, the embargo of delay and retrogression, let it come to an end. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Just one, my God. We have, can you imagine, we have a lot to do, but am I wasting your time? There's someone you came from, you are a woman, you came from United Kingdom, UK. Who is that? You are among those standing here, I'm not talking of those who, come. When did you come here? Last night. Last night? Yes. What are you trusting God for? Depression uh, with psychotic symptoms. I want to pray for you. There is this. Look at me. Where are you from originally? Uh, Benway State. Benway State. Look at me. I'm looking at you. I'm not a prophet of doom. But I'm looking at a tree. And I'm hearing a name, Aleku. This is, this is a, this is a, this is Benway. Where are you from? Benway State. Benway State. Yes. This thing projects madness. Because I'm seeing that this is what is happening. What did the doctor say wrong with you? I'm sorry. What did the doctor say is wrong with you? They, they said I have depression with psychotic symptoms. That's what I'm telling you. I am seeing that this, this is madness. I'm seeing this lady just walking around and they are giving her injections and saying you calm down. This is not a medical condition. I stand by the God of heaven. And I decree and I declare. Hear me. Every altar that speaks against you. Every altar that speaks against your rising. I stand by the God of heaven. It catches fire right now. It catches fire right now. It catches fire. It catches fire right now. You're her husband, sir. I'm here from UK too. And she stayed with me. She oh, yeah. talk, to, talk to us. Hold on. Yeah, she. I, I came from UK too. Okay, you came from UK. Yeah, she's my, she's my wife's very good friend. Okay. We together. She has manifested symptoms in my presence in the UK. Madness since everything madness. In the UK, she, uh, she's, um, her husband has left her more than, you know. 20 years. How many years? 20 years. I hope you are not embarrassed. We are not prophesying to embarrass you. I hope you understand. You've been alone. I've been alone, yes. 
there is a God in heaven. My brothers and my sisters. There is a God in heaven. Don't cry. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Your Madam, don't cry. He said, weep not. For the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, is worthy to open the book and unlock the scroll. I want to pray and break this, this demonic thing that is manifesting as madness. I'm not saying the doctors are wrong. Are you getting me? Doctors are instruments of God's mercy. But this one, it's not a medical condition. This one is a demonic thing. In the name of Jesus, blotting out every handwriting the Bible says, and every ordinance that spoke against us, that he nailed it to his cross, I speak to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this spirit live your life now. Never to return. And I prophesy restoration. It is not only things that God restores. He can restore time. He said, and I will restore the years. Not just the things. Let me tell you how God restores. He does not restore by taking you backward. He takes what should be and bring it forward. That's how God restores. What do you do, sir? Pharmacist. Where's your wife? She's in the UK now. She's in the UK. I live in the UK. Oh, you live in the UK. I just came for a business. Ah, I'm not seeing a pharmacist, though. I'm seeing a businessman. Hallelujah. Look at me. Stand up. I hope you're not embarrassed. Because I'm looking at you. There is a there is a grace for wealth that is coming on you. You believe that, sir? You will marvel and wonder. This is not about UK or Nigeria, it's what you carry. Are we together now? I want to pray for you. I stretch my hands. You see. This is not about calling somebody who is wealthy. There is a grace that makes men. I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Sir, I stand by the God who called me in six months. As you are standing here, your life will change in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. What do you do? At the moment, I'm not. Doing You're not anything. doing anything? Yes, sir. Mm. But um, it's due to this condition That's this this condition no it will not return to you again yeah. in the name of jesus you came here to receive you flew seven hours not to waste your time there is a god in heaven this is koinonia there is a grace for favor that i want to release on your life when that is done, you go back to UK and watch what happens. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15. The B part. And Esther obtained favor in the sight of how many? All them that looked upon her. Not all them that she did business with. All them that looked upon her. It has nothing to do with business. Provided you have the eyes to see, it is a grace that compels something from you. I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus, who is the helper of us all. May that grace, the Esther anointing, let it come upon your life. You will go back to UK a sign and a wonder. In the name of Jesus. 180 degrees, the tides of someone's life. But the challenge is that most people just say amen, but they don't believe. Truly they don't. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Ah. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my I'm about to pray for you now and declare 
that this prophetic dimension you must experience it this night there has to be a word that will come because many of you you are going through all kinds of seasons right now and i want you to know that there are weapons in this kingdom that can help us live the overcomers life we are overcomers it is true who came here in this auditorium i'm not doing personal prophecy now i'm going to speak but the lord just put it there's a woman who came here you are trusting god for the fruit of the womb this is why you came here please who is that person very quickly i just want to pray for you the lord wants to visit you now Help her. We give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the King. We give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the King. We give you the highest. We give you the loudest, yeah. the loudest praise to the King. We lift up holy hands. The praise to the King. We lift up holy hands. The praise to the King. We give you, we give you, we give you the highest praise. We give you, we give you, we give you the highest. There's such a powerful anointing in front. I'm going to pray for you now. Muimaka, Muimaka, Muimaka. We give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the King. Give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the King. We bow down, we bow down, the deepest worship to the King. I want to pray for you, and I want you to believe you will marvel and wonder at what the prophetic is able to do just place your hand on your stomach the power of god is strong upon you every one of you no you just just on your dress now you don't have to father in the name of jesus that they may know that you are the one true god right now i decree and declare for those of you who are in front here and those who are following by way of media an anointing is coming on you now in the name of jesus i decree and declare may that power if there be any spirit that is responsible for any delay in childbirth i command that you go out now out now out now out now in the name of jesus out now out my god there's so i'm seeing fire just resting on you i decree and declare we cause that spirit now according to the time of life i stretch my hands return with your miracle children single children twins triplets receive it in the name of jesus christ and i decree and declare it doesn't matter how it has been before now i announce to you by the god of heaven let that condition change now you will return back and you will return for many of you you will not exceed one month you will see that you have taken in already and so shall it be in the name of jesus christ please return to your seat very quickly hallelujah if you are in business here just lift your hands i just sense that anointing like really you are 
not just that you are doing by the way but you are really into this thing i want to pray for you i want you to believe god father please agree with me as i declare you will be surprised because there are some of you things have been tied down this is what i see in the realm of the spirit there are doors that should have opened but i'm seeing powers tying it down i decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost and by the ministry of the prophetic between now and the next one month i speak to you by the spirit of god return with strange testimonies return with strange test help me please return with strange testimonies can someone help this woman please return with strange testimonies in the name of jesus christ hear me every financial door that has refused to open we have been commanded to bless therefore i declare in addition to your diligence in addition to your value in addition to the products and the services that you are involved with i place this prophetic edge upon the works of your hands go and prosper go and prosper go and prosper go and prosper let me pray for people who have gone down spiritually different aspects of your life because of the challenges over your life your prayer life has gone down your word study life has gone down some of you even hate church you hate the house of god you don't want anything to do with god again i'm praying right now let fire from heaven rest upon your destiny now fresh seal for the things of god fresh seal for prayer fresh seal for fasting fresh seal for the study of the word fresh love for the house of god every long-standing issue that has refused to give way in your life that has lingered more than necessary in the name of jesus this night we bring it to an end this night we bring it to an end for some of you this week will not pass before you receive your letters new season for you and let me pray for those who are in ministry now is not the time to be discouraged now is not the time to be discouraged there are mantles there are graces that god wants to release upon people now is not the time to falter now is not the time to draw back i decree and declare over your church over your ministry over your prayer platform over whatever platform god is using to help you serve his purposes i decree and declare may grace rest upon it now now hear me i want to pray particularly for families that either have been bereaved or have gone through all kinds of losses or are currently going through circles and patterns of pain you don't have to come out but i want to minister the power of god right now listen to me grief is a spirit and is a dangerous spirit that must never be allowed in your vicinity regardless the guys grief is a terrible spirit it is a spirit that can reproduce its results in the life of an individual i want to speak to you now for everyone who has gone through or is going through situations of pain many of you delay in your expectations many of you persecutions criticisms all kinds of tribulations many of you sorrow upon sorrow but i want to speak to you now let hope let it rise darkness trembles in your holy light ah hey, hey, hey. let hope rise tonight darkness 
Now I decree and declare for all those who have been bereaved, all those who are being bereaved, all those who are going through all kinds of challenges, inexplainable, many of them find the peace of God now. Father, you who is the Prince of Peace, administer the peace that surpasses all understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. And let me echo the voice of the Spirit to you. It shall be for you for a testimony. 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 Hear me. Joseph looked at his brothers and said, While you meant it for evil, that God is able to turn it for good. I decree again one more time, it shall be for you for a testimony. Hear me. The final prayer tonight before I make the altar call is the staying power to go through these seasons. The Bible says, if you turn aside in the day of battle, your strength is small. For some of you, the word of the Lord for you tonight is hold on. You have come too far to go back. Hold on. God sent you to Abuja. You are about to relocate and go away. And saying, I'm tired of this city. I've lived a frustrated life. God is ministering to you. Hold on. I'm still walking. Allow me to finish what I am doing. God sent you to ministry and it looks like nothing is working. Help this woman. Hold on. God is ministering to you. Hold on. Hold on. God told you to do what you are doing and you are still failing in it. Hold on. Hold on. He's dependable. You can trust him. Man of God, just because you have not prophesied does not mean you are not a prophet. He is making you hold on. Hold on. Woman of power, woman of grace. Just because he has not given you a platform yet does not mean you are not called. Hold on. While he walks on you. Hold on. Hold on. That is the prophetic word. Hold on. Don't give up. You have gone too far. Hold on. Hold on. In the name of Jesus, you hold on. You have to return from this service knowing that I am not giving up. I have received the strength to finish. That the same energy it takes to go back is the same energy it takes. You lost a job, apply for another one. You did a business and it failed, start another one. You did ministry and it looked like it's not working. Settle down and find out what you might be doing wrong and get back again. One thing that you will not fail to do is to continue. I've taken in 30 times, 20 times, 10 times, 15 times, 5 times and it looks like it's not worked. Go back again. Again is a powerful word. Again means hope. Again means God is not done. Again means there is no full stop. And Adam knew his wife again. And they who fell yesterday rose again. I decree and declare the strength that you need for the journey that is ahead. There is a lot that God has in store in this end time for people across several areas in ministry career business i decree and declare the strength from heaven that can empower a man to stand in the midst of challenges and yet rejoice and yet continue may that strength rest upon you now we're going to pray in the name of jesus christ tonight. prayer point number one will be that God would grant us the strength to have the resilience, to have the stamina and the staying power to continue when the storms of life come. I wish I would tell you storms would not, not, not come, but I'd be lying to you. If you want to get to the throne, 
the pathway is the cross. Oh Joseph, if you want to sit with Pharaoh, be ready to enter the well, go to the prison. I said it in a teaching somewhere that the prison is where both good and bad people meet. Every time you see people in the prison, be careful because Joseph is there too. Not everybody is a criminal. Every time you see men on the cross, be careful, Jesus is there too. He is just between two thieves. He may not be a thief. This is already a word for someone. Don't generalize people. You may see Joseph in the prison. But not everybody got there because of a crime of their own. You may see men hanging on various crosses. Don't generalize. Jesus is dead. He's not dying for himself. He's dying for the world. There are thieves that pay the price for their own foolishness. But there are others who are dying for others. You must have the grace to discern. Are you ready to pray? Prayer point number one. Lord, I obtain grace that as I start this journey to the other side, regardless the storms that come, I will arrive. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. In the name of Jesus, I declare, I am determined to go to the other side spiritually. I am determined to go to the other side financially. I am determined to go to the other side in destiny. Regardless the storms that I face, I declare that I intend to arrive. Jesus is with me. Are you praying? Obtain grace. Though I walk through the valley low, I'll feel no evil. By the water still my my heart will trust in you, Lord. My heart will trust. Someone is drawing strength for the journey tonight. So oh, I walk through the valley. I Look at me. We're wrapping up. Please lend me your attention, everyone. Following and here. Someday you will need to move from being a tenant to a landlord. It is not prophecy. You will have to go to the other side. Someday you would have to take responsibility and raise those children. Everybody has another side to your story. Do not be afraid of making progress to the other side. I can tell you one thing for sure. The other side is not a bed of roses. Faith, they say, does not just make things easy. It makes things possible. The assignment of faith is not to make your journey easy. That is the assignment of favor. The assignment of faith is to make your journey possible. Someday, you have to make up your mind that I'm tired of begging and borrowing. Listen, I have to go to the other side financially. It will take courage. Let us go to the other side. Tell your mind, let us go to the other side. 
tell your spiritual life let us go to the other side a day will have to come you look at your wife and say my dear he called us to ministry thank god for the level we are operating now but there is need to go to the other side i can't be the one depending on people to give me money all the time and i keep praying for others to prosper so they tip me i can't be the man of god sitting in jealousy and pain and watching god use others it is time to go to the other side listen to me for someone here this is a prophetic word you have encompassed this mountain long enough stop celebrating mediocrity as a local champion it's time to stretch to the other side can i tell you this don't be so emotionally connected yesterday is jealous yesterday will never allow you to enter into tomorrow yesterday is like a jealous personality you must obtain the unemotional determination to leave yesterday for the sake of tomorrow yesterday will want to recycle itself in your life from one room one day the holy ghost starts telling you do you not think you should stroll around abuja and check if you can even find three or four plots of land and you want to rebuke it no where will i get the money from all that i have is hundred thousand listen to me god is speaking to you for as long as you are unwilling to sustain the courage to go to the other side for someone you may not have the money but go and find out where the land is after this conference go and stay there and look at it i cannot buy it but my eyes have seen it can i tell you one of the ways that you make god omega is by making him alpha he will never become alpha when he has not become omega start with him and put pressure on his integrity to finish i should go abroad and educate myself but where will the help go to go online and find out what it takes to start just start with jesus and be sure that you will arrive you alone will fail but you and jesus cannot fail are we together i came here to challenge you tonight honestly speaking there are many of us who have come past this mountain long enough i don't mean to insult you but there are people who need to begin to contend for certain levels of grace you have been in this city for 10 years 15 years watching others come to build watching others come to take risks by faith and you've been giving all kinds of excuses it's time to make up your mind it is better to fail honorably listen there is something called failing forward when a plane is going forward and someone who is at the front seat goes back to use the restroom is the man going behind the plane is moving forward he's in a plane that overall is going forward even though in the plane he's going backward but the plane is too big for him to move it backwards that's how your destiny is go and start the shop what do i need courage you don't need products open it open the shop and start apostle i'm in debt to the millions and the billions how do i come out i can tell you if you think you're going to save your way to go out you are joking listen to me the first way to come out is to invite jesus into the situation you will never come out on your own when you are in trouble don't try to come out bring jesus into the situation there is something about him that cannot let you remain in storms are we together it is time to stretch to the other side and please do not forget whenever you arrive remember there is a madman in Gadara that all that journey, your financial journey, your intellectual journey, dear worshiper, when you arrive and your songs go to the nation, remember there is a madman whose deliverance is tied to your songs. Do not allow arrival mentality destroy you. In this kingdom, we do not stop. We move from level to level to level to level. now before i speak over your life to end tonight 
I want you to rebuke the storm. We have identified the storm, but Jesus taught us to not forbear with storms. No. When storms finish their assignments, do not let them continue. The assignment of a storm is to verify that you were sent. The assignment of a storm is to convince you that you are moving. When you find that information, the storm does not need to remain again. There are many of us, the storms have stayed beyond their validity period. And Jesus teaches you what to do, that you are about to do now. In the next one minute, please, without distraction, in the name of Jesus, as a priest that you are, I'd like you to begin to rebuke every spirit that is back of any situation challenging your life and destiny. Believers pray. The spirit challenging my spiritual growth, challenging my prayer life, challenging my world life, challenging my passion for the house of God, challenging prophecy over my destiny. I come against you now in the name of Jesus Christ. If someone praying, the spirit in repeating church growth in repeating growth in my business in the name of jesus i rebuke you by the god of heaven thus far have you come no further shall you go the spirit fighting the arrival of the anointing upon my life and destiny i come against you in the name of jesus i come against you by the blood of the lamb house on the rock pray decree and declare that thou mightest be justified every storm stopping my destiny help us from locating me and lifting me by the spirit every storm challenging my business every storm challenging nigeria every storm challenging my family are you declaring by the spirit please be still finances hear the word of the lord ministry hear the word of the lord business hear the word of the lord family life hear the word of the lord peace be still i rebuke every spirit i cast out imagination every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of christ i declare by the spirit of the living god please go ahead and pray we're up in a pray 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 atmosphere shift now Praise you, Lord. Pray now. Holy Spirit, move now. Heaven open. Heaven open. Command that atmosphere. Shift in the name of Jesus. Atmosphere of depression. Atmosphere of failure. Atmosphere of conflict. Believers, please hear me. Let me challenge you. I'd like you to use this entire period of this conference as a moment of spiritual emphasis. Some of you need to go home and lock your gate and start walking like the priest that you are around your house. And if they ask you, what are you doing? Tell them the storm has stayed beyond its limit. The storm has stayed beyond its limit and you begin to rebuke. Lay your hands upon your documents when you go back home. 
in the name of Jesus. I end this season of pain. It's time to arrive, not just to move. Declare your arrival, prophesied by the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have prayed. But hear me. The disciples were too weak to rebuke the storm by themselves. But they were also not too proud to tell Jesus, help us. There are certain times you may not have the level of spiritual intelligence not the level of engracing to challenge the storms that stand before you you must be quick to admit it and quickly call jesus and can i tell you this the way jesus walks is to empower men go to them that sell and buy there are those that sell this is why he gave in the church apostles and prophets evangelists and pastors and teachers for the maturing of the saints that means everything that makes for the saints to rise to their full prophetic potential he's invested it believe me when i tell you there are times you can pray you can stretch you can do everything to know to do doctors have taught us this military people have taught us this there are times that a doctor can tell you i am a doctor there is dr or md behind or in front of my name but i admit that this situation is beyond my expertise allow the consultants to come and they do not feel bad allowing the consultants to come and you can be surprised that a very delicate and complicated surgery you may see a man who does not have the form but he's still consultant i have can't send carpenters to judge those horns carpenters i have seen a few professionals and consultants and many times they don't have any form they, they can come and you you see them you can almost doubt you don't know their consultants when they are standing you know their consultants in the surgery room and with with digital precision they would carry out a very delicate and complicated procedure and come out after a few hours and say it is done this is how it is in the body of christ it is not to worship men but let me tell you sincerely by god there are people who by the privilege of the election of grace they have been vested with certain possibilities every time you find out that you've exhausted your creativity around a storm don't die in pride humble yourself let your defeat in pride not misrepresent jesus he can still come storms if you call him hallelujah i believe that the servants of god here i'm standing in faith and agreement with them to speak right now because there are many of us you've done you've prayed you've fasted you've done what you know to do the situation does not seem to listen to you but he sent us in his name to speak over that situation and so i want you tonight to shout a loud amen as i speak and declare just one minute and we're done i just want to speak over your life prophecy is powerful it says they are taken for a prey and none see it restore in the name of jesus I, I stand joining faith with the father and the priest over this commission and the angel over this house and the servants of god here we connect our spirits and in the name that is above all names right now i decree and i declare everyone here whose journey has been impeded by a storm i speak to that storm this night not tomorrow this night Come to an end now. 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 Come to an end now.
every force that is stopping your advancement or that of your children may be financially ministerially in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god i speak to that spirit and i speak to that storm release god's people now and i decree and declare over your life listen to me immediately the storm was calm time was no longer a factor the bible just said they arrived how long it took after the storm i told you when jesus comes in the calculation changes for some of you god told you certain things in january and as it is now it is october and you are saying by the logic of men when can i build this business i tell you when jesus is introduced you'll be surprised let me speak to you by the spirit of grace in a matter of weeks for some of you may the prophecy that you had right from january come to pass yeah. hear me for some of you as you go home right now your prophecy will run faster than you and wait for you at home as a testimony in the name of jesus christ there are many of you by the time you are coming here tomorrow morning i decree and declare over your life it will be tears of joy you will be coming here with. can i tell you this i would not do this except god put it in my heart i want to declare over your finances this night by the spirit i'm just responding to what god is putting in my heart you will marvel and wonder i am telling you this by the god of heaven do not be like the man in samaria who said even if god will open the windows of heaven listen it is left that is why the beginning of a believer's journey must maintain the formula and the protocol used in scripture in the beginning god in the beginning god and at the end of everything it is still god i can tell you that many of us right now are sincere satan has tried the formula of backsliding and it doesn't seem to be as effective again because there are many people who are generally waking the body of christ up to the fact that look it pays to be fathered with god so satan has changed his strategy this message you see i saw it in a vision the reason why i would not say i saw it in a vision is because i want your understanding to be grounded on doctrine not a man's experience are, are we together now i saw that this thing the deception of manipulating the human spirit by giving you a sense of applause a sense of arrival and it now leads to complacency whether i pray or not you will not know all you know is the apostle joshua selman you love who you listen to but it is me and god that knows the current reality of our relationship i can bask in the applause of people whereas at that point with god your voice is going down someone rise up on your feet we are going to pray for two minutes or, or five minutes listen this prayer no moving around i like you to pray from the depth of your heart mean business with god you came for a conference a time where you will search your heart the first prayer i know that you have prayed and prayed but i want us to pray the prayer of the psalmist he said try my heart search my heart try it if there is any wicked way in me lead me to the way everlasting lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and pray abelkuta shalike paranda skata brakata gata baladaba ke parakata bagado skata prenda skata lekata shanakata barando skoto braske di baladash ke te prenda gata katoska telekatoska liba hasharyada are you praying Shanika de Bedegade Kibrant Skadela Bakatoska de Brenda Kelebabia Kipata Kataba Lakata Shadebeka de Kateba Rakatoska Diata Prayer Warriors pray the vessels that will be used in this city pray 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 it is beyond impartation 
it is beyond listening to messages there are forces assigned to mantles there are forces assigned to destinies with a primary assignment of ensuring that your voice is no longer heard at the mountain of Israel this one thing I do forgetting the things that are behind I press onto the mark of the high calling in Christ the Bible says looking unto Jesus who is the author and the finisher of our faith who for the joy that was set before him the bible says he endured the cross he despised the shame is someone praying hallelujah now listen the Bible says seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses it admonishes us it says seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight weight jealousy weight bitterness weight competitions weight it is not only sin you lay down you lay down weights weights useless weights competition comparing yourself to yourself it says and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us looking unto jesus he says who is the author and the finisher of our faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross and despised the shame we must obtain grace to cry before the lord that every weight that's our next prayer point every weight now listen you don't have to be bad to be a victim of weights you just have to be human eventually you will find yourself in unnecessary competitions you find yourself in petty jealousy you find yourself distracted by so many things you are going to cry that every weight that will not allow you ascend to the mountain where your voice will be heard that weight must drop dead now lift your voice and pray mean it with jesus christ every weight it's time to grow in the spirit every weight every distraction every hindrance of the flesh every weight someone is praying weights that hinder your hearing bitterness hatred backbiting jealousy weights
says come unto me all ye that are heavy laden and I will give you rest his yoke is easy and his burden is light few more minutes and we're done for this session In the name of Jesus hallelujah last prayer point Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 23 it says let not the wise man glory in his wisdom let not the strong or the mighty glory in his might let not the rich man glory in his riches it says but let him that glory at glory in this that he understandeth and knoweth me in this kingdom the pride of a believer is not just mundane achievements as important and motivating as they are i do not downplay the place of those things we need to make progress psychologists tell us that one of the indices the principal index that measures fulfillment is progress to the degree to which you perceive that you are making progress that is the degree to which you find fulfillment so i don't downplay the place of progress but let me tell you this the real pride of a believer in this kingdom is that you understand and you know him john 17 and verse 3 jesus praying said this is eternal life that they may know thee the one true god and jesus whom thou hast sent this is eternal life solomon explored everything that we desire to explore money reputation fame everything his eyes desired he pursued it so as far as human the human standard of achievement is concerned he got everything but hear what he said at the end of his life he said vanity upon vanity all is vanity that is not a statement to endorse mediocrity is a reality from the standpoint of anything minus god that is the result of anything minus god and he says here is the conclusion of the matter he says of reading many books there is no end and much study is only a weariness to the soul he says this is the conclusion of the matter to fear god and to keep his commandments he says this is the whole duty of man so we're going to pray can I add one more prayer point? Pray and cry that every force fighting the oil of God upon your life. They will not go by default. This is why you were given dominion. You are going to have to cause that spirit to let you go that you find visibility. Listen, listen, listen. I have met in my life I have met men of God, Pastor Sir. I have met sincere people, people of of impeccable character, people of integrity and soundness. And I am shocked that even their community does not know they are there. Can I tell you, influence is important because it is not only important that your voice be heard, it must be heard on the mountain. Are we together now? Habakkuk chapter 2 says, I will stand upon my watch and set myself upon the tower. There is an elevated position where you must be for the, the purposes of God through you to be heard and known. And there are spirits that have kept mighty men down. I have met intercessors. I have met prophets, genuine people. I have met apostles indeed. I have met people that I myself had to just go back and say, my goodness, from whence did this kind of breed come from? But you never hear their voice anywhere. 
because there are powers zechariah chapter 1 from verse 18 son of man what seest thou he said four horns these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against judah against jerusalem against israel three things judah your praise jerusalem your covenant and your peace are we together israel your promise they have lifted up themselves against it he says they have lifted up themselves so that no man doth lift up his head please take this last prayer point seriously there are many of you here god must give you visibility the truth is that by by the grace of god you have found expression god has shown you honor you have worked in keeping with the principles that make for greatness you have entered your season of appearing except that these horns have vowed to keep you down the way they kept all who are with you down but can i tell you this the bible says that the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder and the yoke from off your neck and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing you are going to pray with determination that in the name of jesus everything that has pegged me down to not allow this prophetic ministry find visibility to not allow this this apostolic dimension find visibility either in a bell kuta covering the glory of the assembly god has trusted me with or the group or whatever platform please lift your voice and pray some tree says many a day that rise up against me many a day that say there is no help for you he says but thou O lord art a shield for me you are my glory you are the lifter up of my head someone is praying release yourself from that age-long captivity there are daughters of zion in the similitude of deborah that must rise there are men of fire and power that must rise in this time and hear me if you are silent you will be silenced declare thou that ye might test be justified go ahead and declare in the name of jesus freedom from the captivity that stops me from ascending the mountain so that my voice be heard in israel pray pray who is like him lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow down every ocean roll to the lord of lords we will praise adonai from the rising of the sun to the end of every day praise adonai all the nations of the earth all the angels and the saints sing praise adonai from the rising of the sun to the end of every day praise adonai all the nations of the earth hallelujah 
Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now please hear me. Let me encourage you. I want you tonight to invite everybody within this city. Whether there is, if there is no space, they can hang around anywhere. Because I believe that God will be doing three things tonight. One, we'll have a moment where the word of God would be communicated. But then number two, I believe that the Lord truly is in the business of setting the captives free. Do not forbear with evil. Evil always comes pregnant. If you leave it, it will give birth to children around you. Are we together? There are times when the Lord will give instructions and say, kill everybody plus the children. Let nothing leave. So I'd like you to come prepared that whatever it is that has mocked God in your life, if God be God, he must come down this Please let them come. Holy Is there anyone with the name Nike? Nike. I'm hearing a name Nike. It's like a short form of a whole name. Nike. Is there someone with such a name? Madam, you are the one. I'm seeing the Lord is saying, number one, I don't know what it is. I hope you're not embarrassed. Can I talk to you? The Lord is shifting something in your body. This is what I'm seeing. Please lay your hand on your stomach. I don't know what it is, but the Lord is telling me that he's bringing you a miracle. This is what I'm, is this your husband? Sir, can I pray for you, man? In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. I do not know you, but by the power of the Holy Spirit, I declare right now, that this thing that does not name the name of Christ, let it leave you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. How long have you been trusting your all? Huh? Your grace. Please bring for me two people that shout loud right now under the anointing. There is such, I just saw light, that fire. This is a very loud shout. I want to pray. Please, I want you to believe. Even if it is 10 minutes, I want you to know that something must rest upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is the son of the living God. I'm seeing this one, two, three, the third row. The third row here. There are some of you, the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this row. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. Those trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I, I asked them to come out. Are they here? I want you to believe in Jesus. Don't worry. Just take your eyes away from whatever medical report. Believe in Jesus. I want to pray for you. The power of God is coming on one of you right now. We're going to make this very fast. I just saw that fire come on one of you. And in the name of Jesus, I declare, according to the time of life. Please just place your hand on your stomach if you can. Why is she here? She was under the anointing there. Look at me, madam. You believe in Jesus? Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus, I declare, this that I see on you, let it loose now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Gone forever, never to return again. In the name of Jesus. And for all of you who are here, I decree and declare, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, according to the time of life, return with miracle children. House on the Rock, agree with them. Return with miracle children. Return with miracle children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please quickly return to your seat. Someone among 
the people who were ministering here to Hila, I just saw the power of God. That's where the choir is. There's one of you. I know that maybe right now, the Lord is saying to that one person that you are stepping into a new season. A new season by the power of the Holy Spirit. A new season. In the name of Jesus Christ. A new season. There are four men of God here. You are in ministry. I just saw a strong anointing resting upon you. Four people. I know that we may pray for other people, but I don't know where the four people are. By the Spirit of God, wherever you are, in the name of Jesus, this grace for a new season in ministry. Let it rest upon you now. Let it rest upon you now. My friend, there's a gentleman on suit. This man, lift your hands. I just saw light coming on you. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be a new season for you. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ, never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who works here with FIRSC? That's Federal Inland. I just saw that name, FIRSC. You are wearing white. No, not this man. You are, it's like you are somewhere there. Is there some, please come. Your life is about to change. Please verify. Is there someone to, where do you, God bless you sir, where do you work sir? FIRSC, yes. how long have you been there? For 10 years now. 10 years. Yes, I want to, because I'm seeing you climb a ladder. It's a new season for you. Can I pray for you? Who works with Indians? I'm seeing a man and I'm seeing Indians. Is there someone like that? You work with, I oh dear, there's, you work with Indians? Come. I want to pray for you, sir. I'm looking at you and in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing like a scepter given to you. And the Lord is saying it's a new season. This thing will happen within the next six months. The way God will move you, it will surprise you. You believe what I'm saying? And now I, I don't mean to speak against any tribe, but what I'm hearing, you see, when God places, when God is determined to lift you, whether it's a donkey, whether it's a Cyrus, he will use anyone and anything to lift you. This is what is happening to you. I pray for you by the spirit of the living God. Joining faith with the servants of God here, I decree and declare, according to the word of the Lord, let it be for you now. In Jesus' name. And for you, my brother, may the Lord help you. In Jesus' name. I want to pray.